Good evening and welcome to Oxford's Ashes, a modern-day vampire the masquerade chronicle set in the British city of Oxford. Already awakened tonight is Barry of Clan Nagaraja, played by Noscavian. Ebony of Clan Ventru, played by Softonomicon. Hatfield of Clan Brujar, played by Daybreakathon. Acheron of Clan Zmitsi, played by the Rissa Rave. Slip of Clan Nosferatu, played by Slippery Nosferatu. Is it Slippery underscore Nosferatu or Slippery Nosferatu? No underscore. No underscore. Played by Slippery Nosferatu, no underscore. Arda, oh, Arda will be joining us at a dramatically appropriate time. Roland of Clan Ventru, played by Dead Western. And so we shall begin where we left off last time. There are four men, well-dressed and business casual appearance, all very well kept and professional. You're inside of a long tin room that has been turned into an ad hoc office. Against the furthest back wall is a lift. There are no buttons on the panel next to it. Just the same strange interface, interface slot you saw when you gained entry. But first, much more pressing. Thank you, Noscavian. Acheron has mm. entered hunger frenzy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the moment that Acheron saw Ardala from using one of her abilities, she started to get a little bit of a nosebleed and it set off the hunger frenzy. Uh, Acheron's attention goes to the men. The, the four men that are in the room. Um, likely whichever one is closest to them, uh, to, to us as a group, is who Akron goes towards. Um, ah. Does she, though? Is, uh, that's the question, isn't it? Who's closest? Yeah. Who would garner her attention? She's well, not a no, blood leaf, so question. she doesn't have... See, the question is, who do I want her to attack? I see. Who do you want me to attack, Shiv? Now. You see, I have something in mind for this. Too proud of this. You will lurch forward at one of the men in particular. You don't know why this one is the one that's screaming towards you. You feel this strange pull, like when you have a magnet in your hand and it's attracted to something. You're ignoring everything else around you. You just focus on this man. You hear the rhythm of his breathing. You hear the part beating in his chest. He stopped what he's doing and he's staring at you. I'm like your normal prey, though. Whenever you do this kind of decoration, you usually see the fear in their eye, but this one this one is looking at you more with curiosity. And then you feel something that you've never felt before. It's as if the beast you have inside of you grows. It turns into something bigger than you. Bigger than even you can turn yourself into or have turned yourself in before. A giant winged dragon. Like that of the myth of old. You feel yourself as this dragon reaching out and attacking another. What you see as a dragon, it is far smaller than you. It is less vibrant. How would you attack as this dragon? As the dragon, I think... I would likely reach out with my claws, shove them through this person's center, and raise them up in the air like a like a spike. Let the blood drip into my mouth. Messy. And then consume. 
uh, strength and strength. Or dex and brawl. Strength and strength or, or dex and brawl? Is that mm. what it is? Yeah. Strength and strength. Strength and strength for me, please. All right. That's actually quite appropriate, I have to say. Yes, I thought so too. This huge hulking form of a dragon that you are reaches in, tearing apart, tasting this other dragon's vitae, for lack of a better word. It's ichor, flowing down your own throat and over your own skin. You feel it trickling in between the grooves in your massive scales and chitinous chest. However, what the others see is you striding forward, proud, strong, grasping this man by both of his shoulders and tearing him in two as you feast upon the bloody mess. First of all, you may slake five hunger. You're Thank going you. to take one, two drops in humanity. Not even stains, just two drops in humanity. Okay. And of course, your beast is satisfied, but we'll get round to that. Because what is everyone else doing while you are doing that? Mm -hmm. Holy! Staring in shock and horror. I would probably just lunge for one of the other guys. Like, say, yeah. Akron, tear one and two. I'd just go straight for one of the other ones and try and take him out Strength as quickly broke. as possible. Yeah, high key. It's holy, and then it's, I guess we're doing this! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ducking behind a wall. Uh, can I rouse for feral weapons? Roland, leaping into action without even thinking, instinct kicking in. Your claws extend as you pounce upon one of these men, tearing him to pieces, not lingering, killing him. Hatfield. Hi. Two more remain. Uh, yes, I would like to perform some subtraction if that's okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Nothing fancy, strength. just, you know. Yeah, I was going to say, Strength Brawl is Hatfield style. Yeah, yeah. These are just people. Nothing fancy. We don't need nothing fancy. Just, just, just hit them good, put them down. It's basic subtraction. I can do better than that. Much better. Hatfield, striding forward in a way that is a kind of mix between your usual self and something else, something far more noble. A confidence, an innate nobility, and you strike this man very carefully measuring exactly what you're doing out Come and making fast. sure you don't throw him off of his shoulders. Next. Barry. What I was thinking. <laughs> yes. What are you doing? Um, I guess um, I will try to uh, grapple someone. Strength bro. <laughs> Would you like a reroll? <laughs> Do you guys want me to use a reroll or not? 
Well, you can do a willpower roll, can't you? I'll do a willpower roll. Okay. 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 Barry, you lurch forward, not unclamping your gaping maw. This time, though, you apply your strong arms and hands, much like a lumberjack. You're all right. You pull this man towards you, and without even breaking an effort, restrain him into a half-Nelson. He is yours to do with as you please, or to give away as you please. What would you all like to do? Um, can I clearly see if someone is still starving, or has the people who are hungry have they eaten? I mean, well, one looks good. Can yeah, somebody it's... tell me very briefly what has been happening, just so I know what? Is that Acheron that? has just had a frenzy. Right. Uh, That's where we left off. Yep. Has had an illusion of turning into a dragon, but in reality has grasped one of these men by either shoulder and torn him in two, whilst feeding on the gooey mess inside. The rest of the coterie have responded, neutralizing the threat inside, leaving you inside this disguised agricultural tin shed. There is a lift on the back floor, uh, on the back wall, sorry. It'd be great mm -hmm. if it was on the floor. That'd be really fast. Uh, it doesn't have any buttons, it just has the same strange interface um, that you saw when you came in. And that is all that has been gathered so far. Okay. And just so you so know, who is just so you don't say right your now? usual horrible things about um, grain, because we all know you hate grain, uh, we are live. Me? No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just wanted to check. You are grainist. I um... grain. <laughs> uh, am I still in the Fuck frenzy? Rice. Am I no, still in your frenzy? your hunger is abs uh, your frenzy Sounds is good. absolutely satisfied. All of this has gone on in just like a matter of seconds, kind of okay. thing. And Understood. I... I think I know exactly what you're going to do, so please, Acheron. Um, I think, you know, there's there's the um, ferociousness of that of like the f the feral frenzied feeding, right? Um, but eventually that calms down, um, and it's sort of as you guys have dealt with people, you see Acheron is has their basically like their clawed fingers in this person's mouth and is ripping out their teeth. Um, one by one. And rather than, like, normally she would put it in her bag, her hands just open up and swallow the teeth. Um, and then she stands up fully and you see she's just covered in blood and gore. Uh, but she's very relaxed and has this expression... Like, she's done nothing wrong. Like, this was a part of the plan. Um, Excellent. She doesn't make a move to wipe any of it away. She just lets it be on her. Uh, and then she turns. Is there anyone alive out of the four people? Uh, Barry's got one restrained. Uh, I could take a bite out of that, to be honest. How about it? Um, do you want me to just hold it for you, or do you want to catch? No, you can you can keep him, Barry. I'll just uh, come over there and uh, and I'll go over there and just like bite. <laughs> uh, I'll take two, but I need an extra one, or I don't know. Like, I think it does one I'm gonna less say for it. me. Slake one less, yeah. Slake. Why don't you just drain him? Sure, I'll well, fucking drain the fuck on. out of him. Bet. Yeah. Let's go. Do it. I'll do it. I'm, I did it. I did yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely free. Mm -hmm. Slake five yeah. hunger. And Barry, I don't know how you want to discard this 
remains of the sanguinated body in his very middle suit. I suspect you'll just discard him. The meat is no good. It's dried out. You're not really at one for jerky. Hmm. But this leaves you in the remains of the office. I think Akron is licking her fingers. Um, there's, you know, in, in a sort of fiendish way that she's like licking at her hands. Um, as she like looks out at the, at the group, sort of waiting for whatever comes next. Little warning might have been nice. You know, a bit just, violent, wasn't just it? Just a small, small heads up. Sorry. You bifurcated that guy. I... I was really hungry. Normally I don't allow myself to get that hungry, but it's been a time. So. That to a hamster once. I understand. <laughs> A hamster? Don't you prefer rats? What's a hamster? Sorry, <laughs> ghost children. <laughs> great, great question. <laughs> What's a hamster? Is What's a hamster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was a uh, wild even. We need a fucking blooper reel. <laughs> Shit like that. We and it's just those. of my kids. <laughs> being... No, no, no. Just like... Like Moscavian dropping his spoon, your kid <laughs> coming, it's things like that. We need bloopers of that, and then you know, at the end of the year, we'll just be like, and here <laughs> is that not what talk is for that part, yeah. Um, don't worry, so <laughs> the elder god will get around and back to work. <laughs> the elder god has got a lot on, um, but sorry, yes, a hamster, don't you prefer rats? I believe in the parents, really. The parents? What? But yeah, the kid was outside with a hamster by that bar in the middle of the yeah. night, remember? Kid should not have oh. been there. It was real weird. It was like yeah. one o'clock in the fucking morning. Couldn't mm -hmm. find a rat, but uh, hey, hamster, that's adjacent. Also oh, used to be a delicacy in some areas, so really, it's fine dining. Actually. Uh -huh. Well... You got to eat, and that's what matters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bewildered. I mean, so did you, Cover so. Covered in blood, but like <laughs> bewildered. <laughs> like a hamster. We can only yeah. hope that kid learned not to uh, hang around bars late at night. I told him I to think... go home. I assume he'll never leave. Yeah, no, that was very responsible of you. No, I think what really gets me is I can't imagine that you got much out of the hamster. Hamsters are small. Especially compared to rats. Very tiny. Anyway. Depends on the hamster. Mm. Right. Um, what are we doing? Uh, sorry. Um, I, I mean, think at yeah, this point, really world's ending, we'll yeah. infiltrate in the bad guys. That's right. Uh, slip, I'm, I'm fairly sure that you might be able to handle the technology part. I'm I'm still processing that I've just seen what a man looks like when he's torn in half. Ah. Sure. Be me head. after the stream, softy. I swear to God! Um, hey, yo! Yes, if you remember from last week, Akron would have shown you, uh, Slip, that there is like a button for the lift, but it has like a keypad next to it. Um, so you already kind of have that knowledge of what's going on tech-wise. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you don't think any of these guys have anything on them, right? Just a keypad. Well, not this one. And I, like, refer to my my lumps of meat oh. that I've torn to pieces. True, true. <laughs> uh, you you yeah. might want to check the others, though. Uh, yeah, can I just try to do a workaround for the keypad? Is that possible? What's when us? I'll help you. Ba -ba 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 the plus one. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Three. Mm -hmm. You find upon two of the remaining bodies a strange USB like thumb drive device. Call the dongle. I got a dongle. Oh, oh. what? 
That's actually what they're called. Interesting. They're called dongles. That's okay. Um. Yeah. Right. What's Kine, the am I right? Everything's a joke. Everything's about. Anyway. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what a... Am I able? To, am I able to plug this into the lift in any capacity? Or is this more of like I put it in my pocket for later kind of thing? You can, if you want. I mean, just tap dance for me for two seconds because mm -hmm. for reasons. Acheron, if that was it, brother, I Acheron is peeling off. Look a cat! Acheron is oh kitty. Acheron is peeling off their clothes and rummaging through the bag where they stole other people's clothes and is putting on clean clothes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't mind the blood on their hands, but the clothes have to look fresh, you know? So Yeah. Peel, peels off formal wear, puts on clothes, <laughs> stolen wear. Um, yeah. Looks up at the others and smiles. Their teeth are all bloody. <laughs> Just not going to pay attention, not going to look. Almost Actually, I, will, I, I think Ebony is absolutely trying to avoid Akron. Like, mm, remaining being... away. What, are you scared of me, Ebony? Now? <laughs> You're scared of me? Of yeah, all the things you've seen. I'm not going to talk about them right now, okay? Right. <laughs> okay. Glance at Ebony, glance at Akron. I think it was masterfully done. As one man who split another guy in half before to another, it, well done. Akron yeah, gives a very the theatrical bow. <laughs> I remember yeah. the first time I saw my sire split somebody in half with the sword. Yeah, dramatic, very theatrical bow from from Akron. I mean, this bifurcation such a normal thing. Yeah, pretty normal. I mean, Are it depends on me? what you do, to be honest. Like, if you go around, like, killing people or things, then yeah, I would say so very effective way of getting rid of somebody or something. Sends a message then... to Messy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh fuck no! The elevator door <laughs> opens and a oh. single person comes running out simply screaming he's coming, he's coming. We thought we were the spider but we were the silk. What the fuck are you talking out. about? I mean, as yeah. The elevator door closes behind him. Barry, grab him. Uh, I stick my foot in the door. Yeah. Right? Like, yo, can we get a word? I can help you. I'll help Barry you intercept him. the guy. Throws the the or not throws, but goes and places the chair that the man at the desk was sitting at in front of the door, so it stops it. Stops the elevator. Who's jumping this guy? I well, I haven't <laughs> yelled at Barry. I'm. Good. Yeah, I'm helping Barry intercept the guy. So so let's try the like dolphin dive extra. into I'm the... I'm trying to, like... It's... <laughs> Brent, for all with a plus one, Mr. Barry. I will help Slip keep the elevator door open. I'm just okay. generally helping. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm sorry, but no. I, I've already said the elevator door has closed. Come on, there's no way none of us could have reacted. Okay, okay. That's okay. Fine. All right. That's fine. Does anyone have Celerity 5? Oh, it doesn't matter, it's fine. <laughs> Picking with it, Barry? Damn, you uh, had so many crit. dice. That's a crit. That brings you up to six against his five, and that's absolutely enough for you to be able to pounce upon this man. He's wriggling and gyrating underneath you like a fish out of water, but you're able to keep him down. Your raw brute strength is more than enough to keep this creature pinned, even though he is crazed and keeps repeating over and over the web. The web with a silk. Maybe it's just gonna hold him. Did, did someone want to talk to him? Uh, yeah, I mean, I got some questions. Yeah, this man's nuts. But I, like, hold him by the sc by the scuff of his neck to whoever he's gonna talk to. Here you go. 
hey, 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 buddy. Uh, take take a deep breath. What? <laughs> silk with a silk. We thought we were the spider with the silk. You have to let me go. You must let me go. He's calling. He's calling. You hear the call, can't you hear the call? We must go. The call. What happens if we don't let you go? And he's just going to scream as loud as he fucking can right in your face, which I'm not going to do in real life. <laughs> I, he gets about, you know what? I have celerity one at least. He, he gets to scream just a fraction of a second before just hand over mouth. No. Yeah, yeah. And you, you'll, you'll feel this, you know, he's still screaming. <laughs> yeah, at least it's, it's muffled. Useful. Just poker faced. Like, yeah, give me another minute or so. Just, just another moment. And, um, when he's done screaming, it'll just be like the... Okay, can you use your words? Just unfazed. We thought we would the spider with the web with the silk. We need to go. I must go. He calls. He needs to call. And he'll start screaming right in your face again. A hand over mouth. Hey, hey, Jesus. last warning. You don't say something, something other than that, something useful in the next three seconds. It's gonna be worse. Who is He's calling still, you? He is still screaming. Who is calling you? Who is calling? You can't hear him? Can't you hear him? He's calling. He's calling the spider. He's not the spider. He's the web. We thought we were the silk. We weren't the fly. We don't know who we are. He's calling to us. You must let me go. I have to go now. Screaming again. This go where? This man is Go, late. go, just go, just go. Just let me go. Let me go now. Who's he? I don't think we're going okay. to get anything out of him. I mean, Let unless me somebody now. wants and to, like, do something specific, you know? Go. Okay. I'm still trying to talk to this fella, like... Okay. Which am I doing here? Because, I mean, Barry can let him go. That's, that's not necessarily exclusive. He, you know, Barry lets him go. He's just running for that door again. <sighs> if I... I'm going to kill him. I mean, cool. Yeah, I mean, Hatfield's still trying to get Three. answers, but if he guy bolts for the door, like, yeah. Uh, what would you prefer? Dex brawl? Strength brawl? Strength, strength? I will do strength brawl. Strength brawl. Uh, okay. Spider and the silk. Is there something oh. I can possibly, like, roll to see if I heard or can understand? Jesus Christ. From my knowledge? Uh, I'll come to that in a minute. Yeah, uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, Acheron, that's a hell of a roll. <laughs> um. You can see where I put my XP. <laughs> uh, how's your willpower at the moment? I currently have five. Is uh, what's your max? Six. It's not enough. Your hunger's, your hunger's zero, right? Yeah, it's zero now. Yeah, because I ate that other guy. I'm sorry, it's a bit shit for such a great role, but you're going to be able to get all your willpower back. I know it's one, but mm -hmm. you're in a really good place at the moment. Yes. Yeah. You just grab this man as he starts to just run and. In an instant, faster than you have ever moved before, faster than they think they've even seen celerity move, you grasp this man by his very skull, and without breaking an effort, without even blinking, clench a fist, destroying this man's head in one swift motion. Before the body even falls to the floor, he's nothing but ash. Um. Oh, uh, Ardala. Um, mm. sorry. Yeah. Wits, occult. This is an extremely difficult roller. If you'd like a plus one for me, I have a cult. I have a cult also. Oh, so then whomever you want to take it from, you got it. I have a plus one, and I've eaten my share of Malkavians. <laughs> True. Hey, could I take intelligence instead of wits, or is wits? You take intelligence, yeah. Plus two? Yep. I mean, everybody heard it, so. Mm. Yeah. 
Nice. I can't disagree with that. <laughs> yes, bitch, let's go. <laughs> Between the three of you, you've had enough experiences with Malkavians. I've eaten my You shit. remember Rose. There was talk of this way that they would always be able to talk to each other. They referred to it as something like a web. Perhaps Gehenna really is starting. Perhaps I've oh, seen the call. Oh, right, the call. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think there's just a look to Ardala. Like, as I think especially Ardala and Acheron immediately clicks of what this is. Um, yeah. And so Akron just looks at Ardala and gives them a nod of like, it's time. Well, I guess we found a kindred in here. So it's... I doubt they're the only ones. Yep. Oh, we know that they're not the only ones, right? No, I mean, not just kindred. With... There's likely Lupine down there and other such creatures being kept. Hmm. And if, not if, because this is the end, I imagine there's a lot more than Malkavians that are going to be attempting to run out of here. So do you think it's better we leave the door open or closed? Like at this point? <laughs> I think it does not matter. I mean, you know. Yeah, I don't think it matters. As strange as it sounds, it's worse, or about to be worse, out there than in here. Oh no, I know. I know. That's why I said. Right, that's, that's, yes, that's why it won't matter. There are things that are arising that were once sleeping. Well... All we can do one way or the other is the job that's right in front of us. So. And there is that sort of like that, that, that's. Hatfield's not pushing it, but as somebody, you know, with that touch of celerity, Acheron moved real quick right there. There's a little bit of like, like, now is not the time. We have so much else to deal with, but like, yo. Yeah, Acheron is no longer blinking. They are, because the habit they had was to like, blink make themselves look like a person all that is gone there there's no blinking there is a stillness that is unnatural even to kindred um they look like a walking corpse which they were already kind of looking before but now it's even more so um they they are um monstrously beautiful is how they look uh, now. Uh, even their eyes, where it's the pupils have taken over the majority of their eye, uh, with the irises being so very thin around it and this kind of like greenish gold color um, that you've you've not seen before. Um, yeah, body language yeah. wise, Hatfield is very much like, yo, if the world weren't ending, I'd say we'd have to address this, but at this point, like, eh. <laughs> yeah yeah for sure um i don't think anyone was watching me when i when i was getting changed so yeah so once that's fucking dealt with this person's dead akron points to the elevator and says right you ready to go down ready as i'll ever be you're just sort of I mean, looking around like, like... <laughs> Have to. What's awareness, please? Okay. Hi. Hatfield, as you're glancing around, you're the first to notice that the one and only computer screen that you can see is just a dummy. It's completely non-functioning. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on. Before we... Hey, yo, slip. Look at this thing. Yep. Huh. Well, I mean, 
good for a ruse, make it seem like something's going on when it's not. I don't like that. Well, no, I don't like any of this, but... I mean, I like it less than I like the other bits. Ow. Well, I mean, it's a waste of a good monitor, I guess. Any idea, uh... Any idea? Any ideas? G-Man shenanigans, basically. Probably hoping that someone, uh... Wouldn't notice, and hey, it could be a trap. This thing could blow up if you press a button. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's got anything to do with the lift, though. Like, uh, looking at this thing, Shiv, is there anything, um, anything Not more that we could get? Okay. Not even any power cables on it. That's not even plugged in. Yeah, yeah, they've made minimal effort. And it's at this point that I think our Dala, played by Venetri Starlight, would awaken, arouse, lift, ent whatever the opposite of Shroud is, from Obfuscate. Okay, yeah. I mean, just so, it's just a way to I, introduce I... you into the scene. Oh, <laughs> hi, hello. Well, I mean, I've been around. I was there. I was there. Um, and plus I interacted with stuff, so I feel like I would have been already unobfuscated a little bit, but at this point, if there is no, like, where is this dongle going into? Like, that's what I am, like, trying to figure out. <laughs> Where does the dongle fit? Is there somewhere, like, that we can put the dongle in, in or no? Yeah. I, I have Which, pointed it yeah, out. Yeah, I don't even think Wits Awareness says there's the only thing that's remaining is the panel on the lift that has the same strange interface that you saw when you came in. I will plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. And as soon as you do, Lift doors gently open to a large lift. The exposed metal panels and lack of any decoration inside gives the interior an almost brutalist feel. Everyone stepping in? Yes. yes. And as the lift descends down further into the facility, is there anything you'd like to talk about? Akron is stretching. <laughs> yeah, kind of crack and neck, going through the motions of limbering up, even though they're not really not needed anymore? Yeah. I think... I think, I think uh, Barry would uh, have a toothpick and just be kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Ebony's kind of behaving a little bit strangely. She's trying to simultaneously be as far away from Hatfield and Acheron as possible. Yeah, there's those those because I am still blood bonded to Ebony. I would notice these things. I see her cowering in the corner. We're in a very small and close space. There's not that many. You, it, getting away from both of us is hard when we're in an elevator. Standing just, awkward uh, is not cowering. It's different. Okay, you're cowering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but the like the sort of not necessarily like. Not asking with words, not vocally, but there is that the the repeated glances in that direction, the moments of eye contact, the unspoken question mark, um, the the <laughs> the nonverbal. Hey, yo, you good, boss? I think in the nonverbal, Ebony thinks Ebony knows it's not a, not a good thing to say. So I think she does her best to just sort of kind of, you know, shake and just sort of push it off. Like, don't ask me that right now. 
I mean, I didn't say anything. That's not going to stop the, the eye contact with the unspoken question mark. Oh, I know. Like, it was, <laughs> sorry, I was trying to make it like... I don't know how to describe the fucking motion. It's that hand motion oh. where you're like, oh, don't ask me. Yeah, no, no, I recognize that. I'm just saying it's not a direct order. Therefore, as a blood bond, I don't... I, I, I can still do what I want. Uh, I see. <laughs> like, uh. desperately stare at the wall. Do not want to answer this. Not in a small enclosed elevator. <laughs> Akron is smirking in the corner, probably leaning on Roland. Yeah. I'd just be looking between Hatfield and Ebony, just like trying to figure out what's passing between them. Mm hmm. I'm just, I got like my head leaning on his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if Ebony so much as does even the, um, the most fleeting sidelong glance in Acheron's direction, like nothing said yet. Nothing put out into the world, but the sort of, um, the vibes are off in this elevator. The vibes are off. They are indeed off. <laughs> you That's a way to the, describe it. The rubber band of the tension just ever so slowly stretching out. Oh. I think, and it's, it's purely mental. There's no, um, I'm not even looking at Ebony. If anything, I'm probably looking like just past everyone at the the actual door of the elevator um but there is this air of like i dare you to tell happy <laughs> you know like go ahead tell him tell him and watch what happens and whatever happens will be your fault you know like it's very that vibe coming from acheron as they just very casually lean against it with, or roland yeah uh, and i'd say with the vibes being as they are, you know, a guard dog on a guard dog. I, I can't help it. It would be to defy my nature to, in this moment, not take a um, half step closer to Ebony with that that unspoken, like, you good, boss? Like, radiating out of the body language. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a finally just a small give-in, and then Ebony walks closer to Hatfield, but tries to make sure, you know, Akron Roland on this side, Hatfield then Ebony. Yeah, keep keep that fucking distance. Absolutely not. Do not come in contact you with me. You don't want to be a part of our happy family. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't sign up for the hey, me and my boyfriend like your vibe game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, you did, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I wait for this fucking door to open. <laughs> I mean, we can't, we can't get in a, we can't ride in a car together with Impulse and we're all crammed in an elevator right now. Like. It's true. It's very true. But yeah, there, there's just that, that moment of just standing closer to Ebony. Like the vibes are twanging. <laughs> this comes to a halt, gently jolting you all before a quiet bell announces the arrival as the doors open to a fairly large security area. You take in the area that reminds you of an airport. Scanners that are obviously X-scopes guard the way before you, with simple waist-high metal fences before them, that though you could jump and skip the X-scopes, would trigger the many security guards that are not only holding position in place either side of the scanners, but also fill the security room you see just beyond the gates, filled with officers all armed. Some are staring at monitors. You even glance at a screen that displays all of you from overhead. What would you like to do? Well, what do you guys think? Yeah, there's just sort of the, um, <laughs> I mean, this is a tech, <laughs> this is a modern problem and we need the guy capable of modern solutions. Glances that slip. I. It's a fucking exscope. There's nothing I can do about that. If I get close to it, I'm fucked. Okay, well, what does so, it do? Exscopes, uh, they think exscopes scan for us. Oh, well, I mean. Even Mark 1s can pick us up at damn near this range. So, what's I mean, the guess... plan? We're just going to go and smash and things? Like, mm -hmm. didn't if it wasn't for the security guards, I could probably use Obfuscate to. Uh, you know, spoof the machines, get up there, unplug them or something. But those guys, I... How many guys are there, Yeah, how many guys? Is it two? 
There are seven guards on mm -hmm. your side of Xcopes. There are dozens, like a team kind of thing on the other side. You don't know how many are even in the security room kind of thing. Well, I... The good news, by the way, that you will all instantly know is they are all just mortal. Okay, I... I have... <laughs> always try have asking a... nicely. Well, ah. I can ask nicely or I can make a lot of chaos really fast. You could try uh, nicely. I'm gonna and start like boosting up some shit. Yeah. Okay. He's retaking the. Oh, Dala the came here to party. Nice. Like yeah. thing. I'm going to. Uh, fuck. What's it called? Rouse for toughness. Right. Shot in the dark that the uh, stupid influencer trick's not going to work in here. <laughs> yeah, Be great if it did. Well, I can technically I could do it from here. Try pretending to be the spider or whatever. Spider sound like um. <laughs> well, don't worry about trying to mimic a metaphor. I'm not going to try to mimic a metaphor because it's insanity. Literally, I just want you to know, do you want me to give an order to turn off the X-Scope or start shooting everyone inside? I can uh, give them an just, order from here. I mean, there's, seeing, seeing as there's other people, like, back there, we probably want to keep quiet for as long as possible. I mean, I don't know. It's going to pop off eventually, but maybe not here and now. I mean, I can give the order, but they're all gonna hear- at least the, all the seven of those are gonna hear me. Yeah. And if we don't cause any chaos now, the folks that back there won't hear the shooting and be like, Yo, we're being invaded! Alright. I can control one. You guys are gonna have to handle the other six. I'm I mean hungry. Yeah. No problem. I mean, yo, if quiet don't work, there's always time to go loud. If you go if you go in loud, you can't exactly go back to quiet, like. I am going to activate my bone claws in response, which is a rouse check. Yes, please. Successful. Barry will activate toughness. Same. So I believe. Dang. On the one hand, I should. On the other hand, I'm feeling contrary. I'm not activating anything just yet. Um, I have a question for the bone claws. Do you want me to do the vicissitude roll? Like, not just I did the rouse, no. but do you want me to do the no? No, okay. no, no. Okay. I, I think you're in a nice position right now where you're nice and calm and you could just you know hands behind your back kind of thing it mm -hmm. be extremely weird to make you roll and if you failed it or had a messy career a, a right. dramatic consequence would make no sense okay so yeah uh in answer to to what you said ebony you see from behind her back you see uh akron's hands begin to change to the bone claws I don't know how to Alright Shiv, I just got this power. So I I think I just have to pick someone. Cause I have irresistible voice, meaning my dominate can just be my voice. But I assume I still have to pick a single target because I don't have mass manipulate. Correct. So I can I see one of them? Oh yeah, like there's a you know, pretty large group on this side of the X scopes. All right, so uh, is this? Are we just in a straight hallway? I'm sorry, Shiv. I, are we in a straight hallway? Is there a corner? Yeah, we kind can of hide like behind? imagine, you know, you've just come out of this corner, and then before you is just a straight corridor. On the left of which row of X scopes, beyond that is just a security room, and that's all you can see at this point. All right. 
so apart there from is a, a way... shitload of armed guards. So there's plenty of ways that the, all of my team and me could hide behind a wall while I call out around it. Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna take one small peek, make sure I pick one dude, and then it doesn't matter if they come over here because even if they come around the fucking corner, there is a lot of fucking injured out here, ready to murder mm -hmm. a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give out the order to this man. Could you turn off the X scopes, darling? And I won't even need to raise my voice. Voice of hard state. They ever all of them can hear me. Correct. The only thing that will happen as you reach out, you do know that you have successfully done this, and this this man does exactly what you want. But in doing so, as soon as you make contact, you hear. The work. Man, walk over. I'm okay. so sorry, Acheron. I, I will warn you in future, Acheron. That's a long audio. Is it still um, going? Is it just constant? Is it just in my brain now? Um, did the man walk around the corner? Or anything? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all successful. Mm hmm. But there is that. S oh well, I guess only Ebony would hear that sound, right? Only Ebony would have heard that one, yeah. Okay. I think Ebony definitely like hits the wall, like, ah, fuck. What was it? It's the wall. No, it hits Hatfield because Hatfield oh, yeah, is yeah. on alert now. Knocks into Hatfield, like, ah, oh, dude, mm, what is in there? What brain? was that? There's something in the brain. Chanting, screaming, yelling. I the voice of fucking hell. I don't know. Oh God, he's coming. Okay. Oh. oh, I'm going to have to do that again, aren't I? Probably. Oh, um, th so the so those um, seven guys, one of them goes around the corner and is gone, and yep. then the other seven stay in position? Yep. They don't, okay. strangely enough, I suppose, they don't even seem to be bothered or acknowledge that one of them has wandered off. And they, they don't even respond to the fact that they clearly n must have heard me. Yeah. They're, they're just oh. st standing like guards. So remember the last time we was in a place that was a bit sketched and they was uh, feeding mm -hmm. people that were really interested in lunches? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I a similar thing. thing. I can explain whatever a fucked up demon chant is in my fucking brain right now. But he is doing what I ordered him to, so he's going to turn off the X-Scopes. That's what matters. Um, yeah. Uh, how far are they from us? In terms of feet. How, how many feet? What's comfortable for you? How do you, how, you know, I'm flexible here. They can be close or far away, however you'd like. Uh, if they're closer, I mean, I I would want to yank a person and oh, take them yeah. out. Yeah, oh, like I'm. I mean, the, I'm... Yeah, no problem. And Ebony, just so you know, um, mm -hmm. this guy is he's just wandering off, and he, you'll see, he flicks off the X scope. All right, so the X scopes are now off. All right, free and clear. Go have fun. Yeah, like uh, Acheron is already moving. I think the minute that you gave the order and I saw the person walk around the corner, I was already moving. Um, and I'm going to grab a person, uh, drag them back, and end their life. Would you like me to roll something or no? No, to be quite oh. honest with you. Uh, yeah, they, these, these guys aren't going to respond to anything like that. And yeah, they're not going to resist because you're doing this out of surprise. It, again, mm -hmm. absolutely okay. free. What yeah. would you like to do with this new toy? Uh, you actually see, it's like brutal efficiency. Um, that Akron shoves their uh, bone claw uh, into the base of their, like the where their uh, skull and spine meet, and just twists it around. Um, Absolutely no problem, and you know you'll, you'll feel body. that satisfying crunch mm -hmm. as the bones yield under your touch, and you discard this now empty shell. 
Yep. I'm letting the others fucking do their thing after I dismiss my person from this uh, mortal coil. So we're murdering people? Pick a guard. Pick a guard yeah. and kill it. Um, Barry is very hangry. Kill them. He, if you want, I didn't drain this one. I'll toss him to you so you can eat him. Or do you, would I, you prefer him alive? I can eat uh, fresh corpses, so that's that's fine. Yeah, I that's you know what that's what you see. Like Ardell's like, so we're killing people. Crack and me tossing the body to Barry. His jaws open up and he fucking eats. You know. <laughs> I've just got this picture in my line that you're slowly forming this kind of manufacturing line. It's just going to be throw a body here, throw a body here, throw a body here, and then it ends with this like serpent like Barry who's just there like ah oh, ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Just eating Ghost everything. Man. Crack yeah. open some boys with the cold ones. I understand. Yes. <laughs> Shiv, I yeah. want to. I want to get a bit of clarification <laughs> on the sound I, I heard. So when I, I reach into this man's mind, I get the chanting back, and the chanting slowly fades, or is it like stuck yeah. in my head? No, it slowly fades in, slowly right. fades out. And is it? It's not like it's not hurting me, is it? No. It's a nope. similar sound that we've heard before, is it not? Yes. Like, we've heard this in someone else's, uh, yes. your, I mean... I think Ebony yeah. actually may have heard it before, because I think she did do something. Um, yeah. was it when you were looking into the eyes of the shopkeeper at the occult bookstore? Was that it? That, that was it. Else? The guy who was, the, the guy, um, who oh, had the whites uh, in the fucking crazy basement. Dude. Ray's occult bookstore, or was that, it Ray? Yeah. It was Ray. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's where you heard it. It was him. Because, yeah, mm -hmm. when I looked into his brain and he was fucking nothing but chance in the, in the skull. Mm -hmm. They're all fucking sleeper cells out here. Maybe an occult role to know more? I don't know. Oh, shit. Hold on. I've Do you have a cult? Yeah, I've now heard yeah, this thing twice. Yeah. Can I try to occult to figure out maybe what I was hearing? It's clearly that it's saying something. Hell, I'll do academics if I can try to you get wanna, the language. You want to try and basically think, have I heard this before? Well, no, no. I know I've heard it before. I want to, like, think, okay, that, that sound I'm hearing, it's clearly chanting. Mm. And I, I don't mm -hmm. know if it's an occult or, like, an academics or something to break down what even is the language I'm hearing. Can I parse out what it's even saying? Or is it just... Humming. you know humming or singing but to mm -hmm. me it sounds like there's at least some something to it but if that's just a cult to figure out maybe what this is that's fine i just mm -hmm. i want to try to gain more information so you want to just try and gain more information you, you basically want to think uh, yeah i want to roll to think i want to roll to think to try think. to go what the fuck uh is that? what's a cult extremely difficult roll oh shit you don't have to roll it I mean, also, I if Ebony is thinking out loud, uh, we all, some of us have dots in a cult and can offer two cents. Yeah, I guess uh, the only problem is I think the, the thing is it's based entirely around being able to hear it. I heard that before, though, but our, our oh, dollar shit, can help our dollar <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's nothing stopping Ebony from sharing the information either. Yeah, I'm just sharing. Bear, all right, then, yeah, we'll spread that information. I'll, I'll Barry has one this. dot of a, of a cult. But so who hard. amongst us has heard it? I heard it. I mean, it there's also the vibe of if you describe before. things, anybody who has heard anything that may or may not be relevant could be like, oh, yo, that sounds like this story I heard once. Our so, dollar like, would be that person because yeah. she's heard it before. Uh, yeah, so you our can dollar, is your one. occult better than mine? I have oh, five. Your occult's better than mine. Can I add to you? Can we put our heads together and you roll? No. Sure. No? No. Why not? Because well, because it's we, you. I know. You're, you're the one trying true. to think. You're the one yeah. that just heard it. And for Adala to be like thinking about something that you just heard doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. In this case, I, I think it doesn't. Make yeah. Sense. If if you want to do the role with an assist, absolutely. But you know, can always because rouse you blood. heard it. You can't blame me for trying. You can always no, rouse no, the blood too. Yeah. If you want to get more dice. Try to rouse. Oh, you could. Yeah. You could rouse. Yeah, I have plenty of I mean, stuff. the other advice is, right, you could just not try to skip to the end of the story. It's not skipping to the end of the story. It's just learning information. 
I mean, yeah, okay. No, it's all right. I won't roll it. You want to roll it? You can roll it. Um, in I'm the meanwhile, I'm since we're it. murdering people, I had activated toughness, but I feel like uh, some time already passed as like things are happening. So I'm going to activate. I'm happy for you the... to still have toughness. A toughness, if you'd like. Oh, I think toughness no is for like a a, a whole it's scene. No? It's for a scene. Yeah. Yeah. It's for a scene. So we're and still in the scene. You know, you're fine. No, yeah, no, no. I was I was fine. like thinking about like rounds, quote unquote. Like, so it can uh, like, arouse for another thing. Does that make sense? Because I feel like Ebony talked for a little bit and like there were some other things. So like, I just want to, I just want to go one with the blade, you know? Yeah, absolutely fine. Uh, I am going to murder somebody. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of bodies have at it, you know? Um, yeah, I'll pick whomever. Um, all of these people are like. It's war. Like, this This is what I thrive to be. We're gonna go and, like... The, with the sword of justice of my sire, like, I'm going to go and cleave somebody, like, fucking... You know? Yep. No problem. Uh, Dex melee. Dex melee. with my one with the blade. Oh, come on. That sucks. I had a, a re-roll, right? One still? From last time? Uh, uh, I believe you've got at least one. Like, I have so many fucking dice. Like, what is this? What the fuck is that? You have two. That I'm gonna re-roll. Both from Bolide. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Can I even that? Oh, Darla! Yeah? Oh, Darla. Mm -hmm. In a mastery fit of your warrior prowess, you simply stride up to one of the guards and is completely unresponsive and a swift motion unsheath un your yep unsheath your sword decapitating the man in the same action and instantly spinning on your heels and without thought throwing the sword through the air watching it slice through and impact into the back wall against the main fuse, activating the alert. You watch as the security room darkens and hear the stomps of feet. You realize that every single security guard in the room has evacuated. Nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this, but this is this is Vinija like <laughs> I'm gonna Ardala will like just like absolutely unfaze is just gonna walk and like unstick the, the sword from the panel. Be like, well that's done. The security room lies before you. The door open, allowing you easy entry into the vast room filled with computer terminals. Though currently they are all showing sat static. A security protocol when no one is at the terminal. I'm gonna wait for the others to come, like to, you know, stay there with me. Mm -hmm. I'd follow after our dollar. Yes, sir. As I make my way up, I'm just like, uh, 
not very good with computers as I kind of just like roll my eyes to slip. <laughs> yeah, that's the I I have no idea what is any of that. So shimmy in. <laughs> <laughs> Guado cautiously checks Shimmy. over one of the seats <laughs> and terminals, ensuring it won't blow up in his face, before placing himself down as the terminal springs to life and shows all the camera angles on the current floor. As you step inside, you see the entrance to a large lift out of sight as you walk through the scopes thanks to the harsh corner angle. Basically, to put that in English for you, you're inside of security terminal. Slip is sat at one of these terminals that's showing all these different camera angles on your current floor. And it is at this point that you see, at a sort of like a 90 degree angle from where you were on the X scopes, there's a lift in front of you. Oh, well. Uh, that's probably how we get down further. Uh, and I've got camera access to the whole floor if we want to explore. No, you only have camera access to this floor at the moment. Yes, yes, just, yeah, that's what I think. This whole floor. Mm -hmm. um, should we, like, take a look? Just a peek? To see I don't what's see why not. In this? I don't see why not. Or just in case? Vague right. nod, still standing perhaps a, a bit too close to Ebony, one hand protectively or perhaps possessively on her shoulder. Akron just smiles and then nods at Slip and says, we should know where those other guards went. Uh, yeah, sure, can I parse out where they've gone yeah not even uh, not even a roll kind of task that's a piece of cake kind of thing you, you, you've seen a billion security systems you just rewind the footage a few seconds and you watch as they all evacuate and head to the lift straight in front of you uh, it's gonna be hot down there okay. but does that mean that there's no security guards like left on this floor correct you've seen everything on this floor all right. Wonderful. They're all downstairs. So, keeping that in mind. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. We can head down. I mean, it's that I go back. Let me try something. I don't think it's going to work. I really don't think it's going to... Can I possibly get camera feed of the lower floor? I would like you to roll for me intelligence or wits and tech, please. You got it. Bonk three. Willpower. Nope. Not with that uh, messy crit on the table, brother. We fail. I understand. We I fail. Understand. Nope. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You notice. Yes, yes, yes. The screen has a small red stroke in the bottom right corner. It is at this moment you notice the facility is on a constant standby alert that was not triggered by you or your coterie. And it has been in this condition for several weeks. The facility, though on alert, are none the wiser to your presence. Interesting. And as you yeah. attempt to find your way into the security systems and bring up the cameras down below, you notice there is a demon running in the background of the operating system across the hey? network. <laughs> a D A E M O N. Mm -hmm. Little devil guy with horns just sprinting around at the back of the monitor, waving at Ma us from through the screen. Ma? The fuck? The code is strange, though some of it is obsolete. Archaic, even, but other parts are extremely elegant and sophisticated. The code is capable of fairly slow self repair and adaptation on the fly. You feel like you are in a constant game of chase with the code as it tries to adapt around your changes, preventing you from seeing anything but the cameras in your current room for longer than a few minutes. You've never seen anything like this before, but you know you can make it work for you at least long enough to be of some use. Slip for three successes. You will be able to see the floor plan down below. The lift opens into a locker room that is currently empty. There are two exits. These divide into hallways. Each have two rooms on either side that exit after they meet 
into another lift. That is all you are able to ascertain. Hmm. Okay. I'll bring that up for them. Uh, you're going down into an empty locker room. Mm. This is kind of the layout here. Mm. I can either come with you or keep doing this up to you. Acheron simply um yeah simply pats a uh, slip on the shoulder and begins to s walk towards the lift they will head to the left same I just nod to slip and then make my way whatever he wants to do he'll do where you think you're gonna be able to uh the most good. Fuck if I know. I won't be able to help you in a fight here, but I can maybe help you avoid a fight. As in... There's a daemon in the background here trying to uh, undo everything I do. I could be very useful. I could be very not useful if I stay here, depending. Hatfield, I stayed here Chiefly for you, what would you like me to do? I mean, on a personal level, Slip? Yeah. I don't want to split up. Whatever uh, whatever we're doing, we're in this together. But we're doing the job that's in front of us. And I, uh, I ain't completely given up hope that maybe we can see this through oh. and uh, get out the other side. In which case, that means we got to do the job and do it as good as we can. No, man. It's a matter of, uh, you think you're going to do more good here? Or yeah, you want to be by our side when it all comes to an end? I mean, if you guys need to punch guys, uh, you all pretty much punch guys. I don't know that there will be another security room down there. If you find one, I can move up. You know. Just sort of nod. A uh, bit of a... The casual clap on the shoulder. Yeah. Um, I'm on the radio, so... Yeah, keep in touch. Stay in touch, yes. And yeah, just sort of that, that there's that clap on that shoulder, a bit of a not like hesitation is hesitation, but the hesitation of there's no knowing if we're going to stand in the same room again after this point. So I'm lingering for a moment before Hatfield um, follows the others and walks on. Yep. Slip. You watch as the rest of the coterie proceed onwards to the lift. You take the interface in your pocket and slam it into the desk and watch as the lift responds, opening up and allowing the rest of the coterie into the lift as you remain behind. And once more, as the lift descends into the ground, is there anything you would like to talk about? I think he's going to be okay all by himself. I heard a story about Slip punching an Oni, some sort of demon, and winning. I think he'll be just fine. Okay. I'm in one way or the other. He's got computer access. Uh, he wants a door shut. He's going to shut it. True. Plus, he can make himself unseen should he need to. Yeah, that's fair. Never underestimate an Esferatu. Oh no, oh no, it's just kind of like what Hatfield said, you know, it's all like, you never know what's going to go on, you know, all of us being together would be nice, but it does make sense, so, mm -hmm. you know, he's just a friend, I would hate to see him die alone. Mm. I mean, end of the day, we all die alone. Yeah. Bit morbid, but that's true. Yeah, but, uh, it's Slip, he can handle himself, and, you know, he's... He shines on a computer, so 
it would be kind of a shame to take him away from what he's good at. Exactly. No, that's ultimately what I came to as well. He's probably more of use there. All right, well, out of the way, I guess, let's uh, go punch guys. Yeah. We're going to do this job, and we're going to do it right. When all this is over, we're going to be the ones picking up the pieces. Yeah. It's kind of like nods. I was just breathing. Okay. I was just breathing. Just breathing. Okay. I was just breathing. You're good. That's more than I'm doing. (laughs) Finally, the lift opens its doors to a large but empty of personnel locker room. Most of the lockers are closed shut, though a few remaining ones stand open, each containing a biohazard suit. To the side is a large, round, open entryway, the type you've seen before in other facilities. On the inside of the chamber is a large sign instructing that only personnel and proper safety equipment may proceed forward. What would you like to do? Glancing thoughtfully at the safety equipment. Mm -hmm. Uh, with heightened senses, mm-hmm. do I hear anything? Oh, I'm so sorry. Hold on a second. I I'm not going to make you roll for it. I'm not no, going to no, make no. you roll for it. No, I'm lying to you. I I am thinking oh. of a different character that I have that has heightened senses. I don't have heightened senses. I have Eyes of the Beast. Um, so no, take all that back. But just in a regular sense of hearing my environment, do I hear any movement? Do I hear anything like that? Absolutely not. Everything is still completely silent. This is that locker room space that, uh, yeah, slip described before. Uh, any of the doors open of the lockers? Yep, several. Because I know they were like rushing down here at one point, so, um, okay. All right. Well, you know, basic wits and awareness. Anything of interest in this room? Or, wits sh- or... okay. Question in a moment in your free ship. Yes. Oh, four. That's much better. Mm-hmm. Four. <laughs> you can see. That there is no X scope in the strange door cycle. Other mm. than that, there is nothing that is standing out to you. Mm. Nothing that seems to be a threat. Nothing that seems to really be mm-hmm. suspicious at the moment. Okay. I shared that with the group. I point out there is no X scope in this space uh, or near okay. the thing. My question, if I may. Mm-hmm. Um, typically, when a uh, facility or business has s- safety equipment available, there are safe operating procedures to go with it, SOPs, that detail very clearly what, why, how, and when. Um, am I able from the security terminal to access any of these SOPs and maybe get some idea of what they're walking into that would warrant uh, biohazard gear? It's... Technology, with, with your technology. speciality, of course. <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, I've got it. I'm gonna re-roll three of those. It's a five. Yep. Um, you're able to finally bring up the plans to the floor that you're able to beat the demon for a brief moment and you'll see that on one side of the long corridor is a room marked botany lab and storage area on the other side is bio lab and archives as for the safety operating procedures 
The doors are programmed not to open unless biohazard suits have been donned. You think you might be able to hack the um, door itself in order to open for them, but you also know that this gives the system itself a chance to adapt and will make it harder for you the next time you try to do something like this. Okay. However, oh, this is... yeah, yeah. I think it's also, you know, something that you would throw out there is that if they do put on these hazard suits, it's a level of disguise. Oh, absolutely. That's it's literally what I was about to say is, let's, yeah, I'm not going to shoot my shot on this. Put them on. Uh, they yep. get through the doors. Uh, botany on the one side, bio and archive on the other, and as far as the botany goes, I'm remembering certain spore incidents we had in private, uh, previous mm. labs. Do be careful. Suits might be nice. Hatfield was staring at them thoughtfully, is already pulling them out, sizing the coterie up, like, this one, this one will fit. Like, <laughs> this one's all huge. The it's page. very sized. Yeah, yeah. Puts on the bio gear. When I hear the botany thing, my mind immediately goes to that previous uh, site that we were at that had the spores. Um mm -hmm. But also, also the 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 other um, place that we went that had other kinds of sort of plant bioweapon situation going on that we got to see, not just the spores, but like flowers and other you know sorts of. So keenly aware of of that. Um, look at the camera in the room and give Slip a thumbs up. But like the thumb splits, you know, just to be weird. Yeah, okay. I was there like, oh, that's so whole. Oh, okay. I mean, it's Acheron, right? <laughs> this is the closest yeah. we get to, to wholesome. That, that's why I was like, oh, that's so whole. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I enough. feel like just because <laughs> as the vibes have been the vibes, as Acheron pauses and diverts attention away to give the thumbs up to the camera, that is the moment Hatfield chooses to haphazardly toss the suit in Acheron's direction. Just, just to be a little bit, you know, a little bit passively. Like, I know something's up. I'm not going to confront you about it, but I'm going to be petty. An eyeball. Yeah, absolutely Split, being catty. Bonus, by the way? An, an eyeball sprouts at the back of Acheron's neck, and then they grab the suit. You didn't know it was coming to sprout an eyeball there. I have <laughs> eyeballs all over my body, okay? <laughs> They're doing things, all right? I think it's probably a moment, too, where you... you you are unsure of like, does Akron have that much control over their body that they can do that sort of like, you know, a, 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 in the correct timing like that? Or is it that Akron doesn't have control and that just happened to to happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you one know? way or the other, not actively trying to to do yeah. anything. Just, you know, that little spirit of mischief. The, yeah, the, for the sure. The impulsive thoughts won. For sure, for sure. And Akron doesn't blame you. I mean, I think if anything, they catch it, they start putting the suit on, they look at you and they give you a wink, you know? Slip. You look at this screen and for a brief moment, it fizz fizzles with static. You think you see a ping somewhere of perhaps there was a patrol lurking these corridors, but the screen quickly returns to the default camera setting showing you merely a reflection of yourself. There might be a patrol in the hallways. So, uh, figure out your story before you get there or have probably Ebony in front. As we're Here. looking it through oh. this room full of um, suits um, after this place was, I guess, hastily cleared, would we be able to find any ID cards lying around that we could um, appropriate? Let's find out Ooh. with wits and awareness, and I'm sure you're going to get some assists. Fucking Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Fucking get cheeky. it from me. Take it. <laughs> okay, so that'd be wits and awareness plus what? <coughs> Mister, please. One, two, three, or four? One, two, three. If Slip's helping, it's four. I, I don't think I can help from here. Yeah, I know. Wait. I wish. I see something. It's glinting. From the camera. It's cord. still. It's still four. Three. If, uh, oh. Thing. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize somewhere. So, so plus. I think it's plus three. Okay. Plus my dog, who is being very squeaky today. I can do better than that too. Mm-hmm. 
Do you want to, or do you want to stick with? Oh, oh, oh. Right. Okay. <laughs> you are able to find, tucked away in one of the pockets, deep inside of this hazard jacket, as you're thinking to yourself, even fucking hazard suits have pockets. What the fuck? You find a spare interface. Okie doke. Pick it up, kind of hold it up, uh, holding it up so that the um, the rest of the coterie can see, but also so that the camera can see. Our our eyes in the sky. Mm. Not for long, just just for just for the moment, but like. I mean, left this behind might be useful. I'm going to search me pockets for perhaps an ID as well. Wits and awareness, please. Cool. There's a part of me that hopes you fail just because I know what you're going to find. If you fail, I just had an epiphany that's hilarious. It's a three. But... Sadly for me and my humor, you're not going to find a hole in your pocket. You will instead <laughs> find another. See, someone liked it. You find another interface. Wonderful. There's a hole in your pocket, dear Akron, dear Akron. <laughs> <laughs> there probably is one now because she still has her claws. So she like holding up this interface like this. <laughs> um, yeah. Hold it, you know, very delicate. Um, yeah got one here. You lot might want to check your pockets or around the room. Yeah, I'll do the same. I'll tell check you what, pockets. I'll tell you what. Do, just one person do wits and awareness uh, for one, two, with a plus three. I mean, I did that. I made that exact roll. I wasn't no. just looking for me. Oh, fuck it. If you want a fucking interface, there's one in your pocket. I just <laughs> have an interface. Every you get an interface. You get an interface. Bexley, you get an interface. Have an interface. We all have an Everyone. interface. Yeah. Oh, Everyone. Yeah. Let's set up a meeting and we'll interface sometime over lunch. I'll say oh, that yes. is why I was like, no, this is a role worth willpower re-rolling for because my intention was to search for multiple to, you know, to provide <laughs> yeah. for the coterie. Everyone have an interface. It. Wonderful. There'll be what within a year, people be trying to play Doom on them. So, um, when it comes to that patrol, uh, Slip, did you get uh, perhaps a a distance from here to wherever where that patrol no. is at? All right. Just that there might be one, maybe. Understood. I can go out and take care of it, and I like while well, I lick the blade. That's that also I fucking just true. Murdered. <laughs> That's also I fucking true. I decapitated the guy in. The... Yeah. Akron I... smiles and says, "I'll go with you," and uh, you know, I'll go with our dollar and and fucking see if the patrol is coming to handle it if we if need be. Yeah, you walk up to the strange revolving doors, placing one of your interfaces inside. As you step in, the doors revolve around you, and from overhead you hear the patter of liquid against your protective suits as disinfectant saturates you all, or the two of you. The overhead spray stops. The doors ahead of you all cycle open to a slate grey corridor T-junction. The wall is blank, and unlike other SI facilities you've infiltrated, this one lacks any aids of navigation. You take a look around, you keep an ear open, but as best as you can ascertain from here, you do not see or hear any patrol. Wonderful. And Slip did say that it was left for botany, right for the other set of stuff, right? Uh, Slip, Slip had given us the direction of where certain things were. One side was botany lab and storage. One side was bio lab and archives. That's what it is, bio lab and archives. Uh, yeah. So what we don't... side are we on? We're at the juncture, like we're at the T. Oh, spot. so it's like one goes one way or the other. So uh, I let our Dolan know very quickly about the spores in that in that lab that we'd previously found, and how not to touch it, uh, because bad things happen to you. Um, and then uh, after that, I sort of send over the earpiece to the rest. Uh, all clear out here for now. No patrol coming 
this way at this moment. Great. Might as well I'll just yeah, go. Start making my way. Mm -hmm. Sticking together is probably a better option than anything else. As as we're like walking closer to that te that that junction, right? I've I had a garden, and I know the like temperature of such places, what they need to be. Yeah, yeah. Could I get a sense of which side is more humid, and which side is more dry? Because the archives would need to be dry, but but the place where the plants and spores are would need. You to know be what? Dry. I've got it. I've got it. Do okay. I don't even like the idea of you rolling. I don't. I I think this is more of a connection, not just because you used to grow, have a garden, but you know th th this part of being a Bahari, uh, mm. being uh, Zamitsi, and s having this attunement with the ground. It's more like an intuition, um, an instinct. One of your senses just pulls you in the right in the right direction towards the plants. Mm. You know, you're you're confident in your ability and in your instincts. You know, at this point, to just trust yourself and you let yourself be led towards what you know you seek. Mm -hmm. As you walk, is there anything you would all like to talk about? Yeah, I don't think Akron says anything. Their body just starts moving. Uh, I, I think if 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 they say anything, it's literally like, "Do not touch anything," and then their body just starts to drift towards that direction. So we're doing botany first, I assume. Yes, it so. is my specialty. Shrugs. Uh, we're not. And we're not splitting the party, right? No. Not no. more than we already have. That's fair. That's fair. Nod. 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 Even that was with reluctance. Um. I think Roland would just stay silent, keeping his ear perked. You know, just listening for the patrol. Um, as I'm drawing towards this area, is there any, like, not so much sound, but, like, what am I asking here? It So, okay, what is the lighting in this space? Is it, like, dim? Is it bright? Like, what? what is the lighting situation? There is this, a reason why like, I ask. The, the, these are, like, um, um incandescent light bulbs very mm. low output dim dredge money saving all the way yeah yeah it, it, space upon space upon space and these light bulbs have barely got enough energy in them to reach the floor let alone mm. enough light between each other there's constant okay. shadows along these corridors yeah. so as we're moving i turn on eyes of the beast and it's less about the lack of light and more about trying to see if there are spores in the air, if there's something in the air, because they, they have a protocol essentially that you can't go in this space without donning up by. So I'm trying to like identify what it is in that, in the space um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by using eyes of the beast and seeing if I see any weird, you know, refracting of the very little light that's in here, discoloration, anything like that. Okay. Uh I'll get I'll get back to that unless anyone has any. That's fine, good. Chitty chats. Have at it, you lot. As you're attempting this, you're you're focusing in, you're you're centering yourself, you're finding yourself. For lack of a better word, if it was anyone else, it would be your zen. It's mm -hmm. your attunement to the earth. And before you know it, there lies ahead of you. A darkened glass semicircle, a plain panel next to it, the same interface you've seen around the facility, the only feature upon it. Another doorway, no doubt, intended to disinfect those who pass through. What would you like to do? 
I, unless there's objections from the others, I will take my interface to open the door up. There is, like, I do it slow enough that should slip here or see anything. It's time to let me know if anyone else wants something, you know. But that's the intention is to is to get in the fucking door. Yep. Anyone going with Acheron? Or are you just saying you're on your own, mate? I'll go. I mean, we're not splitting the group. I'm uh, I'm definitely still kind of hovering over Ebony a little bit, but I imagine we're all going forward, right? Yeah, I'm not allowed to split the group, yeah. so I'll wait. Yep. We're going inside. And at this point, we'll take a quick break. And getting on that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I did it just on purpose to catch you out. But we do have a special radio message uh, that I will play for you. Ah. Whenever I get the okay from the tech man himself. In the meantime, this is my tap dance. Pretty oh, good, yeah. huh? Uh, I, can, I can line dance. Is this river dance right now? Yeah. Love it, bro. See? Fucking amazing. You want to see me moonwalk? You need to go out there during these breaks, grabbing these ducks. But the fucking problem is they fly and we don't fly and so they can get away. And then you come back here with a stone and I'm like, that's not a duck. And then I send you the bill. Welcome back. Without issue, you are able to open the door and cycle the doorway that opens to a large botanical garden. Powerful high intensity lights blast down blue white light over the underground oasis, highlighting a small island in the center, holding various lab equipment and a single computer terminal. Despite the plants looking healthy, well kept, and starting to grow what appears to be bright red cherries in some instance, there are no staff, no gardeners about maintaining them. What would you like to do? Again, remind the Kotri to not touch anything. Um, Does my sensei unseen see anything in this room? Would you like to roll for sensei unseen? Sure. Sense the unseen for me, please. As she's in case. Yeah, as she's looking with her special eyes. Um, this is just a garden, or is there, um, or, you know, just a bunch of plants everywhere? Or is there tables with, like, notes and stuff like that, or computers, something like that? You're surrounded by vegetation, and it's only in the center that it's clear where it's, you know, this, this collection of lab equipment. Understood. Okay. Um, then I'm going to, you know, slowly, I still have Eyes of the Beast up, so I'm just slowly walking uh, towards that center area. My intention is to see if there's any notes or anything like that lying around before investigating the plants themselves. Uno memento. Uh, yes, of course. And we will do something with that. Ardala's fourth Sensi Unseen. Ardala, I'm not going to play the noise, but you will hear the noise again. The same one that Ebony has been hearing. And you do not see anything around you. Even your friend's auras. Everything seems to be coated with a white hue to it. I say it. I say that like I comment it as like we go in. So wait, what? Yeah, I can't. It's like there's something obfuscating us in this room. Perhaps the spores that Acheron was talking about earlier. Um. But there's, they definitely have an effect. I my. Um, I, did you not. I don't love that. Ardala, did you mention the sound that you heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering. Perhaps. Mom, it's everywhere here. 
was also at Ray's occult shop via Ray. Perhaps the prince is involved. It's all intermingled with each other. Malkavian ran out of here when we were on the upper floor, screaming about the web and that he's coming. So, not much we can do about it now, but perhaps that's how they're connected. Um, did I, when we were coming in, did I see any spores like in the air when I had the eyes of the beast up? Do I see them now that I'm in this space? Before you came into the uh, Botany Bay, no. The botany okay, bay. and now, I mean, yes. The botany <laughs> bay, I'm so sorry. The You're fine. Botanical Garden, Botany Bay, that's a Star Trek reference. I'm so sorry. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm in here now. Do I see it now? Do I see, like, spores? I mean, we have these hazmat suits on, so I think we're, like, we're relatively safe because of it, but... There are no spores. Okay. You know, n- nothing. No. Okay. Cool. So, like, as Gucci. I'm walking, as I'm walking towards the papers, uh, I am, I am still sort of glancing around the various plants, and do I see, like, if there's any flowers or anything like that, are they bloomed? Like, are they fully open or are they in bud form at this moment? Just very cursory glance over the plants. Yeah, I, that's why I'm not trying to make you roll for it. I'm, um, this, this is my personal lack of botanical skills kicking in here. Um, <laughs> yes. If there are fruit, there should you be are, no flowers. You are. You you you. There are no flowers. No. The, um, mm. It is bearing what appears to be cherries, but they're embedded inside of the vine. Not all of them are as developed as others. Okay. You know, rather than, you know, cherries that hang. <clears throat> so would this be... The same sort of shape, same sort of colour as a cherry, but they're mm-hmm. actually embedded inside of the fibre itself. Right, right. So not really a fruit. Okay. Or at least not really a cherry. Yeah, yeah. The, yes. I'm... Jesus. All right. I'm going towards the centre here. Do I see any notes? Any... Anything of interest on that center lab equipment table? Uh, first of all, for free. Sure. You are... You are able to see there is a... very basic old computer terminal. It's simply displaying growth... Um, charts over the years, uh, temperature, humidity, that, you know, that kind mm-hmm. of thing. And, you, you know, you look over and... Yeah, go on, intelligence and science with your speciality. Because, you know, th- you. this is just going to be something that as you're looking over it, it's instincts kicking in, you know. This is mm-hmm. your training kicking in. This is what you know kicking in, what you're extracting from what you read. And Jesus mm-hmm. Christ... You probably know more about this thing than I do now. Um, Mm -hmm. Fuck. Where do I start with this? Okay. Mm -hmm. You see Acheron, like, as soon as I get to the table, I start fucking moving shit around, and I'm, like, putting things together. You can see the wheels turning in Acheron's head as they're, like, calculating all the shit. Right. You look, first of all, at this plant. Mm about the entire vegetation a thick huge vines more like wooden tree trunks than plant vines but the vivid green stalks an occasional left or growing cherry assures you it is a vine plant Mm. although it looks it is made of many different vines you know it is one organism as you trace it back through Mm. Despite, of course, looking like several different species that you're not entirely familiar with. You're not able to say, you know, that's this and that's this. It has properties from several different things. Whatever this thing is, it's not naturally occurring. Mm. It's not something you've seen. It's certainly not something you could affect. 
with anything that you know of or anything that your sisters in the Pahari would know of. Hmm. So you hear Acheron mumbling these things, but really it's, I am also asking you questions in terms of clarification, ST. My understanding of this plant is not only that it is a vine, but it is a synthetic created organism and the way Mm -hmm. that it operates is is similar to fungus rather than an actual like vine plant because you said that it's not necessarily like separate things it's like one entity i think given the history and knowledge and things yeah pretty much it it definitely i mean you wouldn't necessarily come to the conclusion this is a fungus but it does seem to have that exact function of a fungus. Right. And, and and because of like the release of spores that I've seen in that previous lab, I can say that it's sort of adjacent. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 The plant is currently screaming at attention because finally someone is giving it the due diligence and water and love that it needs because plants need love and water and due diligence just like everyone most amazing me. so uh yeah you lot hear her saying things like hybrid fungus fungus adjacent um you know little little hints to to basically what the st has explained already um So then my next question is, on this table itself, you said there's lab equipment. Mm -hmm. Do I see the beginnings of distilling, of trying to take the essence of something in this plant and transforming it into something else, perhaps an aerosol or a liquid? Okay, okay. No, everything here is dedicated to just maintenance plant care okay all right so i see see nothing nothing you're you're not like looking at these weird things going well why is that there why is that this all makes perfect sense this is okay if if anything it's probably fucking weird that it makes perfect sense because look at this bloody thing there's no way that this was grown with a bit of fucking miracle grow and Mm -hmm. whatever you know there's there's Mm -hmm. something that you're missing here that is not here because this mm. is normal. Okay. And that ain't normal. But this right. is normal. But that ain't. Right. So I'm not seeing like the normal plant food here. I, in fact, that's missing. Whatever it is they're using to mm-hmm. make it grow mm-hmm. is missing. Yeah, there okay. is no plant food. Would right. You know miracle grow be catastrophe grow. I am so sorry. I had the thought and I had to say it. <laughs> catastrophe full. Mm. <laughs> um, Akron will turn to the others and say. This doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. Huh? They grew this. It's um, they've made this. It's it's synthetic. It's not. It's not like any naturally occurring plant. It's a vine, and yet somehow it's a fungus. It it doesn't make sense at all. Except all this here is what you would need to grow a plant, but the food is missing stored elsewhere no 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 no. do you think it eats people she does kind of like she looks at barry and she and there's this moment of like yes like i don't know if it eats bodies but it maybe takes V take yes, storyteller. Would you like to? This is the perfect <laughs> opportunity for me to ask. I know where Akron is. Barry, where are you standing? Um, I don't know. I guess <laughs> I just followed the group out. Yeah, I head. imagine the rest of us are kind of standing are in the you... middle of the room, away from anything that we might accidentally touch. Okay. Uh, anyone got any objections? Uh, I'd probably be near the door. I think. I'd probably Rotated. be a bit towards the front of the pack, wherever that would be. <clears throat> How big is this place? So Barry's near me, then. It's probably about okay. the size of um, a school gym. 
it's a big room oh, and it's, it's filled big. with okay. the, yeah, it's a big room but imagine like yeah. the walls and ceilings or stuff are covered with this plant okay and I then know the that only we've been clearing is this table not like touch don't anything touch. yeah don't touch anything. so i yeah. wouldn't be touching anything but i'm kind of like looking around i'm investigating the room i'm looking at the ceilings i'm like mm. looking around just just you know just yeah Oh, one final question. Wait, the awareness, please. Uh, but I, a minute. Yes, yes. Can uh, I roof. add my aspects to this or no? No. Okay. The roots of this. I'm going to rouse for this. Are mm -hmm. they? Are they in dirt? Or not? Akron is like settles down the papers and looks the, and is now trying to find the roots. It, it, you know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it, it's not just clamped into the fucking dirt. You'll notice it's actually managed to get through this concrete <sighs> in places, you know. It, it, anywhere it can go, it's doing that. But strangely enough, it's not really going that much towards the light. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dala. No, I'm going to reroll. I'm gonna please use my re last reroll. Please, please reroll, please. There we go. Much better. <laughs> if there's ever a point where Acheron, like, let's be clear, Acheron's at three humanity right now. There's very little they care about. But if there's ever a moment where they're like, "Don't fuck around," it's this moment, and it's written on their face. Don't fuck around. The worst bit is that could literally be true in Acheron's case you know just sat there seething with anger and it just appears in the forehead don't fuck around <laughs> just Words a random mouth a random mouth appears and says, don't fuck around mate <laughs> then disappears <laughs> Adala you approached this plant trying to learn more about it learn more about the room you're, you're very cautious you heard tales of this and you're not stupid you're out for vengeance, and you can't do vengeance if you're affected by a plant. Yet I'm very athletic that, and dexterous, so, like, I should be able to, like, go around. I know, I read the Tinder profile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? Um, yes. yes. You notice that one of these <laughs> cherries begins to swell slowly. The red inside swirls faster and faster until... Fuck. <laughs> but fortunately for you, you're as agile as a cat. Yeah. And this strange red air landing on the concrete floor and quickly dispersing, running into some unknown small air gap. I mean, I would have pointed it out once I saw it, like, throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 I hate it. I mean... I'm gonna come out of you. I, I hate that. <laughs> Oh, well, not you're welcome. What's you're welcome. Cherry got number? popped. Uh, I don't know. It was throbbing. I don't know what to tell you. Like, hey, it's like, cherry prop popped. You're literally I am, like, I'm stressed it out. Me in about three quarters of chat. We're just gonna go for a cigarette. We'll be right back. I'm I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed the fuck out. Uh, that you would refer to this death cherry as uh, as what you have referred to it as. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. The minute that you say something, Acheron curses because they're like, oh, no. Um, the cherry is, is throbbing and it's gonna it's uh, yeah. okay yep. it's gonna bust what, what? It's, you know it busted it's gonna bust oh it's busted that did okay. happen that did happen all all over the ground standing okay. over here with like all over yeah. the fucking ground guys i didn't even I didn't, i'm not even there but it sounds like you made it happen i looked at it too intensely and it came I mean, crazy. I, uh, have, I have met, well. I have met men like that. Akron has several <laughs> eyes appear on their face, and it's just looking like Ardala. <laughs> <Please. Yes. laughs> 
<laughs> I'll say the the only sign of exasperation. Hatfield's like kind of slipped back into to almost slipped back into guard mode very much. Just on the job, we're focused, we're paying attention, we're watching for threats. We're 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 in full on guard duty mode. And mm-hmm. the only sign of exasperation that shows on Hatfield's face in this moment is that one of the the natural human blinks lasts just that microsecond longer than is necessary. Yeah, which in- <laughs> I'm trying to help. Like this is not normal. It's not. Yeah. You're right. But fuck. What did I do? You didn't do anything. I think. I don't know. Oh god. All of you. You did nothing. Come this way and away from the fucking plants. Yeah. And- uh. <laughs> I. It is. It is less about the the vaguely veiled double entendre commentary from Ardala. No. <laughs> More like quadruple? Yeah, uh, listen. Listen, it is not even... Akron is like, that's not even it. Uh, the thing is you know, that I'm, you are so close to the thing that could hurt you so bad. Move this way. I'm a cat. I feel on the job, I'm running with it. There's just that moment of freezing as I realized the voice that just came out of my mouth almost wasn't mine. That part. Um, <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta do some shit. Okay, so... Question: This thing has Where done did its the thing. Juice go? What? Why do you want it? To... I... Mm. Through a crack in the floor, Ardala. It went through a crack in the floor. Okay. <laughs> to a crack. I mean, there, there is the moment of like we we are heading. Are we heading down this this lift? Right. We have been descending. No, we're in a in a. Yes, we've been heading down, yes. downwards. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. If there is any more downwards, knowing where the cracks are might, like, if there's another floor below us and this plant is sleeping through, you know, that there are worse questions to ask. Right. So, uh, what I need <laughs> is for everyone to get away from the fucking plants. You don't, you don't get <laughs> touched by the fucking juice, okay? Uh, but I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at these roots. You said some of it is in a dirt, some of it is punching through. Oh, shit. Concrete. Right. Yeah, oh. right. The. Roots. What? Are, oh God! What are we doing about these roots? Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. It's going through. They're the very concrete. static. So they are very so, static. Okay. Move. Okay. Pulse. So I was going to ask: Is there a, a a role I can do to find out if the plant is sentient? Now let me explain what I mean by that. I don't believe that it is sentient in the way that we are. But rather in the way that fungus is. Does that make sense? That if you step on something or activate something, it starts to make another thing go off. That Shiv sat here that. going, what the fuck does that even mean? What does a fungus do? So I don't think it's going to be worth your effort because Shiv hasn't thought that far ahead. She did okay. That. Well, that would have no, been really good. There's okay. no network it's chemically communicating with. No, right. no so, tangled roots with some other entity. Yeah, so fun fact for you, Shiv, uh, there are uh, fungus operate in, in a very similar to like a hive mind. So if one part is affected, another part reacts. It's not just fungus. There are forests that are essentially a single entity with tangled roots. Right. Each part Slime chemically. This, this, this brings Star yes. Trek Discovery uh, into make much more sense. Right, and so that's why I asked that question. That, that's the plot of the first one of the reasons yeah, why right. forests are connected. It's because of the fungi in, like, the right. of fungi in the ground. By the way, right, which is which is why because Ardala activated that one part of it. I'm Akron is like I didn't do anything. Else. The thing I'm, was throbbing. I'm, I was just seeing it. I just saw it. I didn't do nothing. I did nothing. Your presence. I was presence. looking at it. Yes, your presence. She was looking respectfully. Out of my parents, very disrespectfully. Brief oh, aside, sure. I was reading something today, and there is one hundred percent a plant that can see. Right, exactly, and that's my point. So, anyway, since we've gotten past that, and it's no longer mm. a concern of mine, that's cool. Do yeah. I see any evidence of the food? So, for example, in Acheron's garden, there was a mist, a blood mist that would kick off, and so when that was off, sometimes you could see the the vitae dripping off of the leaves afterwards, long after it had been fed. Nope. It's perfectly clean in every single shape, way, or this form, is, which is quite is strange normal. because a plant shouldn't be. No, no, no it's, it's not, not normal at all. Do I see any no, evidence no. of, um, what are those called little spray things that are up on the fucking ceiling? Sprinklers? They're like nozzles. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, thank no. you, sprinklers. Do I don't I see that? No. What? Is there any dust settled on this plant? None of this makes any fucking nope. sense. No dust on the plant. 
nothing makes sense in here. Nothing makes any fucking sense. What do we have to do to figure out what the fuck is going on here? What do I have to roll? What do I got to look for? Uh, but, um, I uh, keep, uh, I just keep searching around the, the building. Mm, mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I send all this information to Slip because I know he can fucking hear me and I'm going to march the fuck out because if there's nothing left to be discovered in here, then I'm going to move on to the next place. I've gathered notes. I've given notes to Ardala for her clipboard to which maybe there was a sleight of hand that happened into her bag, but we don't need to talk about it. Dear what diary, we today I popped a cherry <laughs> with my eyes. Incredible. <laughs> Dear so diary. yeah, you you got the you got the hint, Shiv. And you know, if there's it, nothing left in here, I, well, I there's all sorts of hints going around here. I've got I understand where. Yep. Yeah. Also, yeah. one way or the other, right now, Hatfield's hand is just hovering like over that pocket where the lighter's kept, not saying anything, but like you, you can see the thought. Mm -hmm. I think there's probably a, a moment too, if Ebony is is still looking very scared of me that. You know what? No, because this isn't the right spot for that. Never mind. I keep fucking <laughs> walking. So, I say, let's go. I'm like, there's yeah, nothing else you know going what? on in here. There's, let's go. There was apparently an archive. I feel like any information you need is probably going to be in there. It might give information as well to what's on the other floors. Move quickly. Let's move carefully. There's still that mystery patrol out. Slip, have you seen anything else? Shiver, have I seen anything else? Slip, roll with some tech for me with your speciality, and we'll find out. Yes. High key, just one of the things as we're walking out, I would. I'm gonna roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Just to let you know, mm -hmm. uh, there are mm -hmm. two re rolls available still one from Celisk, one from Pixie. So I'm gonna re roll that single black zero. Because Very even well. if that's gone, it's a six. Okay, it's a seven. <laughs> nah. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this ain't the place. <laughs> this ain't the place for sure. <laughs> yeah, as as we're walking out, just I would like to ask Slip a tech question about the plant room. Well, he might have an answer for you with more detail now that he has attempted to bring up the most recent records and accounts. Anything you are met with is just goes to a dead end it doesn't take you long to notice a pattern though you're being led to something instead of fighting against this demon that's running it, you allow it to just guide you through the file system until you reach the results of an experiment that seems to be several years old although most of the body of text is meaningless to you part of the conclusion stands out to you Utilizing plants provided cells can be properly cultivated to suit the needs as mandated by the project lead. These must be handled by properly vetted staff as the pustules respond aggressively to certain blank bodies. This is something we could easily change if requested as dictated by the project lead. Share that information. Oh, so it just didn't like me. I see. I guess. But um, I haven't seen any um, additional patrols, no. A slip. Uh, uh, I don't know what kind of info you can access where you are. But is there same. any chance you, you, could, you could try to uh, get a read on, like, I don't know power flow, what kind of tech this room is hooked up with, anything that might be uh, helping maintain this plan just so we can maybe glean a sense of what we're up against? Hell, a fire suppression system? Yeah. I'm sorry, you want me to uh, take a peeky-poo at the power grid? If you can, I don't know. I'll try it. If I'm allowed to. <laughs> <clears throat> If nothing else, how much of this is tech shenanigans versus how much of this is magic shenanigans? That's in tech. And of course, your speciality applies. This is a somewhat please, difficult please, role. Fucking please, please, no more best, please. Okay, four. I dare not. I dare not. Yeah, I'm just fishing for Sticking extra info, so like, no pressure. Yeah, I dare not risk the messy. <laughs> 
I can't pull out of one, then tank it into another. <laughs> you attempt to guide yourself through the file system, trying to expose the inside infrastructure. But the demon program now is far too fast for you. And as you're trying to access this highly sensitive data, you and you alone just here. Give yourself to me. All right. Um, there's a lot of background noise, and I think the computer's flirting with me. I don't know <laughs> how to answer your question. And uh, I get it. I get it. It's not him. It's me. But it's not going to work, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Slip. Did you just say the computer was flirting with you? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Are you okay yeah. up there? Nah. Slip, you said that it was a, a What demon. does that mean? On the computer. Mm -hmm. Computer said give yourself to me. I'm not gonna, of course. Slip. Okay. Yes. The little image on your screen. What is it? fuck are you talking about the little thing that you said was on the screen that the, the, that's deleting things or whatever it was oh that's not on the screen there's like it's background code it's a program that's running autonomously oh i see i understand mm. yeah so yo slip it was the computer what said that just because we got a lot of uh, voices in our heads and stuff did you hear it with your ears this is a serious question i don't know did he hear it with his mind ears, or, did he say, or is it in the code? Where did, I've, where did he I've never heard any... I don't... What's the difference? I don't... He heard it in his brain ears. I mean, did, he hear it in did he see it in the code, is the question. I mean, either way, my brain processed the information. I don't fucking know. Okay, I want you to think about it. Like, legit, yeah. this is coming from somebody who sometimes okay. gets the voices in my head. Did you hear it with your brain, or did you hear it with your ears? It's important. I... I think the speakers are turned off. I don't see a sound bar. It must have been my brain. Okay. Okay. And it wasn't the same voice as our pal downstairs? Mm, no, it was not Tree Daddy. Okay. I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at Hatfield in this moment. Very serious faced, right? Uh and I think that Hatfield knows me well enough to know my expressions. And I fully believe this is uh, as affectionately referred to Tree Daddy. So <laughs> there is that face of like, it's him. <laughs> Whoa. Unless you want to give me a no, clue I, that it's I, not. I, no, I, I think intrinsically you would know it's not because... Right. So that's what I'm saying. No. I need confirmation yeah. from you. Yes or no? Yeah. Is it no? I was trying to think okay. of a way to say it so only you and I knew what I got I you. Trying to say. you. I got know, you, buddy. You know. I got you. Cool, cool, cool. So I look at Hatfield and I, and the, and it's the noodle is serious. in the shop. Right. And I fucking look and I'm very serious and I'm like, we need to work quickly. Um, yeah. yeah. Hatfield just like one hand pressed to the earpiece that I'm actually wearing <laughs> for once. And just that, that moment of eye contact. Like, yeah, no, I'm fishing for this info for a reason, yo. It all, it, li it literally only took the end of the world for Hatfield to put the earpiece in. <laughs> I've worn it before. It's only on the missions that matter. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't um, need y'all. I have enough voices in my head, okay? I don't need y'all in my head, too. Um, crazy. Fair, fair, fair. Pardon my outburst. Cool, cool. Uh, nice. Okay. So. I am leaving the plant room. I am ushering everyone out of the plant room. Uh, hey, I don't you know want what? them to get. I don't want them to get touched by plant spores. Yo, slip. You weren't able to to get the info I was fishing for, but you answered the question I was asking. Good. Um. Okay. I am. Um, Shit, as the patrol's we, got guard dogs. As we, as we, we can handle dogs. Um, uh, uh, right. So when we come out of the room, because I know that you mentioned the roots, like going into the concrete as well. Do we see any of that evidence of it, like maybe coming out this side as we're like leaving? Do we see any of that, or you notice? I'm trying to see how far do the do these roots go? How far does this? Oh, point, I know. Has this oh, plant I know. Grown? <laughs> I'm just deciding whether or not. Yes, I understand. 
I, I can roll for it if you would prefer. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if I if of a way to give you a certain roll, and I'm desperately trying. What's the role you want to give me and I'll help you? I just want to give you intelligence and science. Yes, give me intelligence and science. This is my thing. This is I don't have many things. I decided that then. Do intelligence and science. You convinced the fuck out of me. Yeah, I don't have many things, darling, but this is the one thing I do have. (laughs) Uh all right. Uh plus one with my with my specialty, yes? Yep. Your head is throbbing with plant knowledge. Oh no, uh, we're gonna re-roll. We're gonna do willpower re-roll so we can get a little more. I'm gonna do the five, five, and the one. Three, two, and the one. Any one of those, you know what I'm saying? Um, so it's a three. Ooh, three. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, now that you mention it, and you're looking around this corridor, and it you're aware that there is this plant so now you know to start actually looking in just the right areas this this plant won't want to come out directly into the light you start to look beneath the pipes right in the shadows because the shadows here will always be static it's a light bulb Mm -hmm. and that's when you start to see small traces of just little patches of green creeping out and It's quite an extensive um, reach. It's not encompassing the entire facility. But it takes a But given the fact that, yeah, and Mm -hmm. you've never, you know, this this plant, given the fact that it must be young, that Mm -hmm. this facility does not look old, Mm -hmm. that plant grows fucking fast. Mm -hmm. Faster than, faster than rhubarb. And Ooh, I'm not joking okay. because you, you can make rhubarb grow so fast you can literally hear it grow. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I. So this is a purely a scientific experiment that Acheron is going to do. I'm going to look at Hatfield and I'm going to say, Hatfield, can I borrow your lighter? I was waiting for you to ask, honestly. Um. Yes. And once Hatfield gives it to me, I want to make this clear. I'm not burning the plant. I'm not going to burn it. But I am going to flick the lighter on and I'm going to bring that light closer to the roots i want to see not only if it reacts how it reacts absolutely free wonderful thank you so much hatfield is standing well back because high key i had this thought but i was like nah i'm gonna let the plant scientist do it well you say that but you're not gonna like the reaction it will squirt on you you. (laughs) out of heat (laughs) tala please (laughs) Um, Jesus Christ Ardala <laughs> You hmm. I'm putting Ardala what? in timeout Okay <laughs> No I'm going in timeout Don't. for a little while This is brilliant It's <laughs> the only thing I'm ever going to get um, Alright so, so well, how does the plant question? react Right. Oh saying, yeah, the plant. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. How does it react to fire? Stupid I don't fucking plant. Right. I don't light it You're on fire. Just getting putting the light this lighter to it. nearer and nearer to this plant material. You, it's still alive. You, you know this. And the weird thing is, this lighter is getting closer and closer and closer, and it's nothing is happening. This plant isn't even being scorched by the flames. There's, it's seems completely immune to fire oh shit uh so i I give the lighter back to to hatfield and i'm like fire will not kill it uh and i I look at it it, just just nodding because high key high key i am not surprised yeah you watched me do it too so you're like oh shit uh but i uh i'm gonna look at our dollar because Ardala is very well versed in in blood sorcery and all of that nonsense, uh, and I and in occult shit, if if not just as much as me, nearly you know more. Um, and so I look to her and I say, "Is there any magics that could be infused? Any blood magics that could be infused with plants that would make it immune to fire?" Well, there is <clears throat> a ritual. That allows us to be more resistant and less intrinsically afraid of fire. I don't know if that 
could be perhaps applied to plants. Um, okay. I could try to burn it with mm, 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 my mm. own powers. Oh, oh, with your... Well, hold on, hold on, before we fucking set this place ablaze. Uh, oh, no, it would just corrode it, just like, you know, acid. Oh, but that's acid, yeah, right, that's okay. acid, that's a different thing. Well, all right, hold on. I would like to do um, something to do with the occult. I'm trying to find out what the fuck is going on with this plant. It is unnatural. I it, mean, like, I everything mean, I about it is fucked. And I need say, to know, sir. Beyond, okay. I think we can say beyond doubt that the neighbors downstairs had a hand in it. This is one of their sure. gardens. And if it's designed specifically to screw with our kind, like, just something Right, in mind. which is why me... Given the things that Shiv knows, tell me what to roll to find out what is going on with this plan. I mean, at can the I, very least, like, it should be vulnerable to fire, and it is not. Roll my oh, own as well are for just a damp. Like you can't burn everything. True. Okay. But, like the, there is a, a little Acheron. You don't need to roll. I uh, I'm going to PM you the information. Gotcha. Thank, thank you. I'm going to communicate. Thank you. Thank you. Can I spit there. on the plant? <laughs> You are in timeout. You're in timeout. I don't care. You're in timeout. <laughs> I've had enough of you. I maybe our dollar and the plant should be alone for a little while. <laughs> I mean, you, I think out. they need a room. Clearly, they are very oh, much shit, in bro. touch. I mean, I believe that they call that a conservatory. I'm trying so hard to be so serious, and you are not helping me at all. <laughs> So weak, I'm delirious. Like, a fucking bitty <laughs> chase bleeding through it too much as a day. I'm so sorry. I'm uh, crying. I'm crying right now. You're hey, right. Yo, it's this the is end how of the you world. get a Bahari. It's the end of the world. We gotta get our laughs in while we can, right? Might true. have tomorrow. Oh, true, my true, true, God. true, true, true. Oh, right. I'm just sat here trying to get over this, trying to assert myself. <laughs> I should be sat here fucking PMing information to someone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I would like that information. Thank you so much. <clears throat> right. Uh, cool. <laughs> Dollar's so, wildin' out right now. <laughs> so we're gonna lock our dollar alone in a room with a plant and then run. <laughs> I would not recommend. I would not recommend it. I don't think she... It won't go how she thinks it will. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing else. Uh, oh my God. Maybe bored. she'll exhaust the plant. I don't know. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little bit of softies coming out here now hold on everybody get back into character immediately <laughs> crazy the plant is edge maxing <laughs> yeah dare i say dare i say not just get back into character hatfield's posture there's just there's just that subtle shift of posture as some mithraean annoyance slips through not just like uh my coterie why are we like this but like <clears throat> Indrid in these yeah. modern nights. Okay, we are fucking moving, bitch. Uh, <clears throat> the worst bit is, I was just yes. about to sit here without thinking and just be like, right, who am I doing next? <laughs> We're leaving. We're, <laughs> We're leaving. leaving. We're Expeditiously, leaving. we are leaving this space right now. Um, Why? Fuck, dude, this is... You'll be able to start walking through the corridors. You know, the, the remaining room on this side is the storage area. And as you walk through the corridors, the only sounds, those of your own footsteps, they aren't echoing too far down. Is there anything you would like to talk about? Um, I, um... Acheron is in their head. Uh... I love you. And says to Endemion. I'm not head. ready for that kind of relationship. Uh, says uh, to Endemion in their head. Uh, is this you? No. I see. Okay. Uh, walk towards the storage unit. 
The, unass bleh, the unassuming door rests in its frame. A simple handle on a metal plate. It doesn't even have a lock. It's temptation too much for you to ignore to reach out and pull the handle open to a large storage room. Metal shelving units with various cleaning items, products, and even solid wooden crates stacked upon them. The floor has pallets with... Bleh, I said that. The f I did say that? Oh, there's pallets with shit on it. And in the centre of the warehouse-like room, against the back wall, is a desk. What would you like to do? I just have to ask, walking into this room, um, the pallets are wooden, are any of these cleaning products flammable? I just have to know. I'm not going to do anything with it yet, but I have to know. Yeah, sure. Loads of them. <laughs> Yay! Okay, now I know. Thank you, I'm happy. Just You're in case. Welcome. Just in case. <laughs> There's even a special kind of bleach right on the top shelf that says in the case of emergencies blast o be gone and it's just basically explosives yay um good to know in case of emergency i i like to know what's around uh what are you looking for anything in particular I've confirmed the presence of explosives. I'm good. What you looking for, Akron? I'm in deep conversation. You will have to forgive me for a moment. Um, I am. You see, Akron is like present, but not really. Their eyes have this like glazed over look. Oh, hi. They're looking hi inward right now. The instant I glance over and see that, there's just that moment of oh. Because, gosh darn, if anybody would know what that means, it'd be me. Yeah, there's, so there's that happening and just randomly eyes popping up on their body looking around. But they're not focusing on anything. They're just like random bits of flesh opening up. Um, you guys do stuff in this room while I have that inner conversation. <laughs> I'm just going to say, there's just that moment of sees that Acheron's gaze has gone inwards. And um, the reasons why that might happen are very limited, and Hatfield's patience is already... Nerves are twanging here, and there's just a moment. Be calm, be calm, be calm. Now is not the moment. Be calm. Well, do we need anything in here at all, or should we just move on? At this point, I don't know, but it's worth knowing when it's here. True. Next, uh, what we have biohazard is the other room. Can I just take a, a quick look in this room and like really see if there's anything? Is my sense the unseen tingling or is just like going the fucking like blast demonic chants in my ears again? What's awareness? Mm. Though I know Acheron in this moment <clears throat> is distracted and gone, Hatfield would try again to get Acheron's attention because you're I'm the one who strode into this room some looking some for stuff. Really trying. Oh, I'm gonna feel so bad when you get this. Oh, you ra you success. You succeeded. You success. No, you success. I'm, I'm, I'm roused <laughs> five. five. I roused because I'm actually looking, looking. So I'm like super looking. I'm like bringing my eyes forward like yeah and with, yeah. with five successes you definitely <laughs> successed okay bet you were able to find as you searched through the only thing that takes your interest is on the desk a small journal it displays a list of contents of the warehouse and the grid location of each item next to it there's practically everything here Small handheld items. Anything the Kildry want, you can now quickly grab for them rather than having to spend 20 minutes pissing around with boxes. Uh, I found inventory. And I fanned the, the little booklet. Um. <clears throat> See, that's why it's throbbing. Right, so as that's happening, uh, uh, I, I do look at Ardala with like I hear you, I see you, um, you know, that she's made this announcement, but I am 
looking around the room. I'm looking more for those plants. But not out loud. Uh, I don't say out loud. But to you, uh, Sir Bathory. I am looking do do? for infernal... I'm looking for infernal things. I'm trying to find the source. I'll save you the tr in in just to make sure in in this in this in this room particularly. Mm. In no, general, no, as no. we move throughout the place, if it's not in here, my eyes are still looking for that. I'm still paying attention to that aspect of this. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do a really easy wits awareness for me. Oh, will power, yeah. or is that good? You don't enough? need to. That's okay. that's fine. Yeah, really easy one because this this isn't a huge revelation, but mm -hmm. out of everyone in the coterie, you're the first one to notice that there is a faded Armis Farmer logo on the wall. Where on the wall is this? This would be on furthest wall opposite in that you came in. Not the wall with the desk on it that Ardala has inspected. Mm -hmm. One of two that three. Okay. I will go to it and I'm going to sort of like brush my hand over it as I'm trying to like see. I see this faded symbol of Armas Pharma. What is that symbol? Like, what is the actual imagery? Because I, I don't know it. Imagine... Oh, God, this is my taste. So, it's a retro 50s kind of mm -hmm. A with... um. My brain, no function work well right now. Um, the strange circle that they use um, usually to symbolize the, the rotation of an atom on its axes. Mm. Axes? Okay. I describe that over the earpiece to Slip and say, does that sound like Arms Fum? Uh, does Slip, does that ring any bells for Slip? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah. It's an older logo, of course, but yeah. That's older before they rebranded a bit, but yeah. I've just found that on a wall down here, in a storage unit. Well, that sounds about right. I suspect we kind of suspected that a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. More confirmation. But uh, tracks, yeah. Good eyes. Mm. Well, you have so many of them. One of them had to see something. Yes. So did the shopkeeper ever tell you what he is? Mm, no. Never really asked. Okay. Did he tell you? No, he didn't. Okay. He was but there at the beginning. But I have suspicions. He is a proprietor of dreams. Okay. Um, did we find everything in this room? Oh. Uh, well, we have the inventory, so I think so. Ardala, what is in the inventory? Can you take a look? Everything? Pretty much. You know, no nothing that's going to be over, um, something you could carry with one hand with ease. I'll go through, like, the thing, but I guess, like, it's... Okay. That's my way of saying, you want a thing? You want a thing? Anyone want a thing? I got things. You can have a thing. I want all the things, yes, uh, to help me with this particular thing you've set up. Yes. Acheron's gonna walk out of here like that woman in the junkyard in Labyrinth, you know, just like... <laughs> 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 
though Hatfield's initial instinct upon walking into this room was flammable, 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 just like on the inside, Hatfield's gone rather still and um, hands are flexing, isn't really looking around anymore. Um, I, I'm gonna look at the at this inventory very quickly as I'm like going to leave the room. I am. Is there an indication of the food that they're feeding this plant? No, not in. No, no. No. Okay. I'll tell you what. Mm. And you, you're going to get this because you've got um, a speciality in anatomy. I do. Something that stands out to you on this inventory is an awfully large amount of formaldehyde. They're preserving something. Oh, shit. Um, and, like, you'll see, like, Ardala, who's right in front of her, uh, will see, like, Akron has paused over this, like, crazy amount of form formaldehyde that they've got here um and i will say we need to move on now um and i will <clears throat> exit is there anything <laughs> you'd like to well yes um specifically what do you know that we don't what are you asking me i definitely seem to be a little more on edge than the rest of us do you know something we don't Oh, um, well, they've got a plant that is not quite a plant that is immune to fire, and uh, Armis Farmer's involved, and they've got a ridiculous amount of formaldehyde. They are preserving a body. Yeah, we knew all that. Is there anything you know that we don't? Because you keep saying, let's go, worried. let's go, let's go, and I agree, but that started recently. So what have you figured out? I, that's the thing I don't know. I, I I have guesses, but I don't know. I, I tried that guesses of my own, but I'm gonna okay. say this now. What did you do? I what? did nothing. They were the ones who did this. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Our friend downstairs isn't the only friend who is seeking allies. You know that ain't all I'm asking about! Just full on grabs Acheron by the collar. It, I feel soft, Acheron soft, 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 soft. Hold on, well, no, 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 no. Fully smiles. Fully smiles. I mean, face splits apart, smiles, and just stares at Hatfield. Go on. Really, really? I know I'm asking. I'm only asking because I feel obliged to. I know you're not going to back down. <laughs> All I did was smile. I have not done anything to Hatfield. I have no intention of doing anything to Hatfield. What Hatfield does to know, me, though, is... In this moment, smiling instead of um, talking is a choice. You have made a choice. <laughs> I answered your question. You didn't like my answer. That's that's what we're dealing with here. You didn't like my response, but I did answer. Sometimes being the ST is being the guy that's got an overview when mummy and daddy are fighting. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, you, 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 um, you've been pretty angry. <clears throat> you, you know, I think that's the impression I'm getting. Having just grabbed my coda remember by the collar and growled in their face, what did you do? Um, I, I think anger might be the word to describe it. Yeah. They only they only made Ebony me, feel please. weird. They've been weird. Sorry. Um, well, please. not necessarily. Do you want to ride the wave or would you like to resist, Frenzy? <sighs> you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to resist. <laughs> I'm gonna You're try a frenzy. To resist. Uh, uh, <sighs> pretty good at this actually, knock on wood. I mean, you say that, but also, but also, you did this to yourself. <laughs> you did this to yourself, Gay. <laughs> I mean, oh, I don't shit. mind. I don't mind. 
Um, yeah. So, so yeah. here's the other thing as well. Mm. So <laughs> normally, <laughs> your, your, Sorry. your bane severity is probably massive because of your blood potency. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yep. That's that's exactly right. So that is going to be. And with Mithras going through your veins, that's going to make this a difficulty four task. Okay. Okay. And... Okay. Sorry, I just got a glance at chat. Whatever happens, happens. Oh, God. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, Whatever I just saw it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ardella hey, is stepping out with the fucking journal in her hand, <laughs> and I'm going to go up? somewhere else. I hope my Can laughter... even messy quit with my frenzy um, <laughs> No, but it doesn't make... We're not gonna. <laughs> fair, fair. Um, right. First of all, Ardala, if that is what you want to do, absolutely a-okay, but I feel the need to remind you there's a possibility there's a second Inquisition patrol out there. No, that's exactly just... why, like, I'm going, like, you know, I'm patrolling Game around because be shit is going to... I'm sen I'm still, but since the Antini is passive, yeah? I'm just saying. If I need to roll something oh, for an I'm opposed aware. roll, yep. like, tell if me. I also it, have yep. premonition, by the way. <laughs> yep. If you I also see have yep. scried the soul, by the way. Yep, mm -hmm. if you can see it. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't make me roll that. No, I didn't. <laughs> you know why? Sure. <laughs> Do I, I, there's so there's bigger people. things that go bump in the night than you. Ma. That's wild. That is a what? That's crazy. Okay, crazy, crazy. I did say it when we walked in here. I did. I did say it. I. I warned. I said the thing. I'm. I'm. I'm circling around them. I'm just letting them fucking deal with the fucking whatever is going on. But I'm keeping a safe eye around because if everybody is looking at the scene. We're distracted, so I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I'm not yeah, being distracted. I want to double check I'm before watching. I go ahead with what I have in mind for uh, making this frenzy check a messy critical uh, between Akron and um, Hatfield. Am I good to engage you into PvP, the two of you? That's fine with me. Ah, I'm here. Do I still need to make this roll? Should I? Should I roll this? Hatfield made a choice. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Hatfield made a choice, but also, like... I answered your question. You just didn't like my But answer. also, Chet is feral, so, I mean... They are, truly. This is Chat's fault, actually, is what we'll do. We'll blame this Hatfield. on Chat. <laughs> the beast overwhelms you. You feel like you deserve better treatment than this, but that's not that's not what you're about. But it, there's some instinct in there. How can... How can someone else address you in that way? How can they then be cheeky to you? What nerve do they have to display this level of arrogance in front of you? Who the hell do they think they are? Strength brawl versus Acheron. Strength brawl as you attempt to restrain them. Oh, please, thank you, Acheron. Uh, let me get my sheets. I need to get rid of... What we need to of... do is get Barry in there and we got to start the fucking Royal Rumble. I was just <laughs> going oh to say, uh, when, when they oh, engage, I think they was be like, try to screw them up. <laughs> this is going to get bad. I want to make it clear, I'll, right? I'll help that, really like, try to separate them. Hatfield, I have a specialty cool. against Kindred. To, to be clear, as Hatfield has grabbed me, like, you'll know, you'll notice... Akron does not lift their hands. They just leave them there at their sides and they're just smiling. Like there's no, they're not doing any weird shifting of their body. They are remaining still. Hmm. Yep. Yep. There it is. There it is. Okay. 
Oh, oh, that's like I said, that's a lot more even than it. Wow. I have that reroll, right? Mm -hmm. I can do a reroll. Would you like for me to do a reroll? <laughs> Actually, if I may, Shiv. If uh -huh. I may. Uh huh. Just that moment of um, grabbing Acheron by the collar, just a full on feral teeth bared, like fire in the eyes, going to pin Acheron against the nearest hard surface, like mm -hmm. full on about to tear this kindred limb from limb. And then mm -hmm. I think this would be the moment to invoke my once per story use of Tyler's mercy. <laughs> and would you care to share with the kindred what that does? Uh, once per story, the Bruja with the descendant of Tyler Lorsheet can basically say, nah, I'm not frenzying, not here, not now, not like this, and I am taking a Bruja compulsion instead. So that, like, Acheron's being held full on off the floor, and then there's just that mm -hmm. moment of, like, like, Fist clenched almost enough to, to break my own skin, but just, just just dropped. And although the beast is no longer screaming quite the same way, it's still itching away behind at you. Still snarling, still face still twitching. Just acaron. Until you've gone against your orders or expectations, perceived or real. You receive a two dice penalty to all of your rolls. This will end when you have managed to either make someone change their mind by force if necessary, or done the opposite of what was expected of you. You are suffering from the Brujar compulsion rebellion. Acheron, if we weren't here and now, you would be a smear on the frickin' pavement! Hmm. I need you to tell me. Everything. About what exactly? Because I answered your question, Hatfield. I did nothing. But I am not the only force at work here. You know that this ain't all I'm asking about. I think by the end of this, none of it will matter. Here and now, it matters to me. Hmm. I look at Ebony, but not with the eyes on my face. Uh. An eye sort of pops up on my shoulder and I look at her. Uh. And it is with this... this Checking her face for, do you want me to tell him? Or should I keep my mouth shut? There's just so much fucking fear and confusion. I think she's kind of surprised that this did not immediately end in a real-ass bloodbath. Um, there is utter terror and I think that that question I, you know, I think it gets a response in verbal just oh just just fucking say something a little accident happened Hatfield when we were hiding Ebony took a bite out of me. It wasn't planned. So again, I didn't do anything. You never do, do ya? Are you done? Right here, right now, we got a job to do. Mm. And when this is over, 
we'll see. Acheron smiles and nods. So there is the moment of like, like, re like releasing Acheron, just fully stepping back a minute, doing that moment. Compose, compose. We're calm. We're calm. Four hauls out and punches the nearest wall. Got to vent it somehow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, Acheron is not is not afraid nor affected. Um because she understands. She understands Hatfield, understands the anger and all the feelings that are tied up in that. Um, and I think it's in their nature to want to to be like, well, you know, we've spoken plenty of times about things like this, and if you just fucking admitted shit, uh, we wouldn't be in this scenario. Oh, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, that's but right. doesn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. But doesn't say anything. This is not, this is not information volunteered, right? Yeah. But... It, it is a thing of like, what do you fucking want me to do? You know what I mean? Like at this point, what would you want from me? And so essentially brushes themselves off, doesn't look at Ebony, doesn't look at Roland because what is there to say? She watched Ardala leave. So she knows Ardala's outside sees Barry and it's just like, well, nothing I can do about that either. And proceeds to fucking leave the room. Uh and says over the earpiece specifically to Slip, um, it doesn't matter if the others here or not, but does say to Slip, like our particular friend at work is not the only one from down below at work. I cannot give more information than that because I do not have enough evidence to say which way this goes. I cannot put a name to it. I am not trying to hide anything from you, any of you, in a malicious way. I just don't want to give you false information. Uh -huh. All right, well, let's keep it pushing then. And does so. Uh, I am looking for our dollar just to make well, sure our dollar is okay because they walked out into the fight. Fucking... Hatfield, strength, strength. Yeah. Still uh, yeah. having those violent fantasies. 15 dice. Of, mm. um, violent fantasies of grinding Acheron's skull into a fine powder. Hatfield. You slam your fist into this concrete wall. You slam it again and again and again, each time cracking parts of this concrete, you hit it with such force and ferocity. Until finally, a small part of the wall actually caves in. Parts of metal piping that run through it drop to the floor with a loud goes through the concrete walls. I say in the earpiece, there's, you know, like, probably would be better if we weren't super loud. There's still that... And you notice... Fro. Question mark. The start of a thin red mist start to leak out of the pipe. <laughs> what do you like to do? We got those amulets, right? Yeah, we got those amulets. We were promised they worked, and if they don't, I am going to, um, well, uh, to say Chimia, riot is put it lightly. Chimia promised that, but... <laughs> oh, Hatfield doesn't say that out loud. Um, oh. <laughs> well, the Tremere promised it, and also Ardala did the very best anybody could to verify it. Yeah. Um, they were pretty amicable toward the end for a Tremere. Mm -hmm. High key, high key in this moment... Um, just the, the blind rage, the defiance. What Hatfield is going to do is frickin' test this amulet. Sticking my hand right in it. My left hand, but my hand. Hell yeah. <laughs> yep. Stick it in now. About 30 seconds. Nothing happens. What would you like to do? Kind of looking at it. 
there's that that slightly manic grin as violent fantasies are still flashing through Hatfield's head. Like, we're putting the beast on a leash here, but this is not by any means over in Hatfield's mind. Like, like we hit the snooze button on this temper tantrum. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and hi, hi, Key, what we're doing is we're looking to see if we can glean where these pipes go. I'd say that's probably going to take you a couple of minutes or so to be doing that. Just following the pipes along. And after about three minutes, your hand starts to burn. Bubble. Instinctively, you pull it away. Running out of the botany lab and closing the door behind you. It seems the talismans do work but not for very long. And that's why we test it. Basically, meaning, like, it just works long enough to you, for you to essentially, like, run through it. Yeah. But yeah. you couldn't, you couldn't yeah. stand in a room full of it type of thing. No. 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 You, for more you, than you'd like have, like, minutes. three minutes. Okay. Understood. Which is three minutes more than you would have had before. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, there's um, definitely that moment of, like, like verbally cursing the Tremere. Inwardly, very good to have this this knowledge. And um, inwardly, too, um, definitely focus on the pain. Focus on the pain. We'll use this. We keep it on a leash. Later. Later. Not now. Later. Um... Yes. Whenever Ekron gets outside, I'm just, like, leaning against the wall mm-hmm. of the hallway. I'm just looking. Didn't you hear anything while you were out here? Other than Hatfield? No, just both of you being really loud. I wasn't yelling. I mean, um, you know what I mean. Yes. We need to keep moving. We need more information. I can't. I don't have the answers. I proceed to keep moving. Like, whether they follow or not right away, I proceed to keep moving. Yep. Everyone else? Catch up to Acheron. As you're wandering through this corridor, heading around and passing the lift that you know leads down, you know you are heading towards the laboratory facility and the other room, the archives! Mm-hmm. Is there anything you would like to talk about as you travel? Akron is focused. Hatfield is quiet. (laughs) Although the the thing about the mist is conveyed, um, my hand is like bubbling. Bubbling up, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. For sure. Like, if anything, that's the only thing Hatfield says is to hold Mm -hmm. up the um, bubbling left hand and be like, just so you know, it ain't a perfect fix. How long before it started to burn you? Minutes. Enough to run through, not to stay in the room. Good to know. Holds the stare with Acheron just, just slightly too long. On Acheron's face is utter disinterest. Oh, of course. Yeah. And keeps it pushing. Like, we don't have time. In, in Akron's head, it's like, it's a clock, you know? Um, especially if uh, Hatfield, like, when he punched the wall and it started to leak through, in their mind, there's cracks all over this place at any point in time that shit could pop off. So it's a, it's a chicken clock for them. Speaking of, gathering information-wise, like, would I have been able to glean, like, where the pipes lead, anything about the layout of the building, where this red mist is stored, where it might be pumped from? Like, I would be looking for information as I'm, like... 
Not this floor. Okay. It's also, the thing would be conveyed to Slip that, yo, we got pipes full of red mist in the walls, like... Oh yeah, he should know that, right? Because he's like locked upstairs in a fucking security room, yeah. Jesus, is it leaking I into mean, the facility as a whole? That doesn't surprise me, though. Like, think about it. Like, this is... This would be like a fire... Like, fire extinguishers, but for <laughs> us. Like, just in case we got in, right? They... Mm. Kind are immune. It doesn't do anything to them. So, also for the record, it's literally a band aid fix. But I would be slapping duct tape over the red mist leak before I walked away. Just, just, just for the record. <laughs> That's yeah. I carry it with me. That's literally what it's for. I, I am taping that duct shut. I love the Chase idea. Of red mist. Take this. <laughs> I love the idea of Hatfield just like <laughs> fucking yeah. yeah, like we have our temper tantrum, we follow the pipes, and then there's just <laughs> You see? You see? You all thought I said I, I have ducks after we came back from the break. No, I was saying ducked. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, dude. Ducks or ducks, either way, I got you covered. Right. Right. Uh, so, when we get to this, the, you said there's a laboratory and there is the archives. Uh, two separate... Laboratory and, uh, laboratory and archives, yeah. Which would you okay. like to head to first? Um, I... I'm gonna actually go to the archives whether the others follow me or not is yeah i'm going to the I'm archives going. too i'm gonna help you like look for information and see if we can figure some shit out yeah i have like um, a very I'm to, for you to know shiv i'm very specifically looking up infernal shit when i get in there like their association I'll help you. if it's so cold things. stuff like i got you mm -hmm. i'd say there's just the vibe Hatfield has had silence of death for a while. No noise is normally made, but the, the footsteps are a little bit stompy because the Bruja compulsion is not happy to be following Acheron right now. And we're not going to cause a fuss about it because, like, we, we there is a job to do. There is a job to do. Um, yeah, yeah. So just clomp, 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 clomp. Mm hmm. <laughs> A plain, simple wooden door lies embedded in the concrete wall ahead of you. A brass sign attached to it that reads in a faded black emboss, Archives. The door has no handle, just another panel with a strange interface upon it, although this one seems different in another way. It's even covered in dust. What would you like to do? I wonder, because Slip is in the security room, if there's something he can do from up there. So I let Slip know, and I describe this particular interface and its differences from the others, and simply say, I don't think it's our cards are going to let us in. Is there something you can do? I've got a little question, Shiv. Uh, and it's not, can I hack it from here? I want to try something first. Um, is there a way? For me to so a lot of a lot of a lot of badges and stuff will have like different levels assigned to them in the system in the computer. Mm -hmm. Can I promote Acheron uh, uh, to a higher level of access from where I'm at? Let's find out with a wits and tech roll with yeah, a yeah, plus, I could. Uh, speciality. Yes. If I do it within the system, I might get less resistance. I okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna re-roll. You know, you need I'm to going... say shit about the roll after you fucking roll. <laughs> I'm trying real hard to make. Oh, it nice is so well. I'm mm. gonna roll. Uh. <laughs> The one, the five, and the black. Egg. You do have two rerolls uh, still banked. Personally, uh, they're two general ah, coterie rerolls. Is the coterie okay with me not inting us? Yeah, yeah. sounds great to me. <laughs> great, 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 great. Okay, uh, <laughs> still rerolling three. <laughs> still mm -hmm, rerolling mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's eight. With a crit? Okay. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hey. Yeah. And you're trying to promote the card. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. Slip. Hey. 
you have this epiphany idea, this absolute genius left field idea, and instead of approaching the system and attacking parts of it directly, you decide to play along with it. You're unsure whether or not this demon inside is playing along, or just doesn't guard this part of the system, but you have no issue whatsoever in giving Akron's card the next security level up. Try your interface again. I have given you a promotion. Well done. Oh, fantastic. And I fucking do the thing to wipe it over the the interface. Door lets out an obvious click as it slowly swings open, allowing you entry. Heading in? Absolutely. Yep. The small office-like room opens to you. The bare concrete floor matches the grey wall, and it's only due to how small the room is that your footsteps do not echo. Against the back wall is a basic desk with a small computer terminal upon it. The screen burns white with life as you enter, and stares back at you awaiting your commands. What would you like to do? Shit. I was sat here hoping that it was going to be a bunch of fucking books and scrolls. Uh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I did too. Yeah, I tell Slip, I'm like, the fucking computer down there. Uh, uh, Nobody you fucking to... writes on paper anymore. You want to try to catch up to you? Uh, try. I, I don't think you should. I think that you can attempt it from where you are, but if you don't think that it will let you uh, into the system, then yes, of course I will. Okay. Oh, there the is area. even remotely tech savvy in any capacity. I know how to use a cell phone, but that's it. Yo, Slip, you know where we are. You've seen the uh, the tech we walked past as we got through. You're good at hiding. You think you can swing it? Maybe. I would like to try uh, remote accessing one of the computers there from here, but I will need a second party to mm -hmm. allow the access. I'm, I'm sitting at the... the thing. Oh, you, you have tech? I don't. I'm sorry. I don't know. Does anyone have tech? I don't think any of us do. I, I don't. But I, I was only going to offer because I was like, I'm smart at least. Go on. Go, go ahead. Take a seat at the computer. The computer is on. Know, so. I don't even know if I can do this, but shit. Mm -hmm. Can I try to remote access that computer from this computer if I've got a third party in this chair there to allow me in? Mm -hmm. You also know what room we're in. So if it's on a network. Ebony, do you have a dot in tech? Uh, yeah, in tech. No, I, I only offered because I am an influencer. Well, but I, you can, yeah, you can. So do, I know you can still some do technology, it, slip, but wits and tech. But you're not going to get a plus one. All right. Gotta walk me through this, big. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so bottom left corner, it's called the start menu. The start menu. Huh. Okay. Click on the start menu. I think you're the one that needs to learn how to fucking click on the start menu. And looking then at that roll. what we're gonna do is uh... <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to install the Epic Games launcher with a roll like that. No! What had happened was it's a free total. It blamed me. I'm holding you back here. <laughs> three. You know what? For three, three you are. Uh surprisingly able to link into the computer. You were hoping for at least some glimmer of access to the file system, but no such luck. At least you're in, though. Okay. I think I'm in. I think I will have to try to bring it up from here. What do we... You just want general access? I guess, yeah, general information. Yeah. This turns uh, around awkwardly, like, and I anything else needs to open say? a directory for them to look at? Yeah, I'm looking specifically for how, what they made a deal or with. Or am I incapable, period, from here? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, so explain to me again. Uh, so now that I have access to that computer, you said I'm in, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't just mm -hmm. get access to the files. Can I try to get access to the files for them? Right. Which files? 
uh, uh, general directory to start. Just like a what's here. So they can kind of be like that one. Mm -hmm. A menu, as it were. <laughs> Pull up the yeah, menu. that's not even. Yeah, you don't need to. You don't need to do anything for that. That that that's a very basic, low level thing of you know, duh. And yeah. it, several dated entries. They go quite far back um, over a span of decades, up until fairly recently. What is the date of the last entry? Fair few years ago. Uh. Like three years ago? Oh, way more than that. Decades. Oh. Uh... No, you, you, the last entry. The very last entry. Oh, the, mo like the most recent? Most recent. Yes, entry. most recent. Mm -hmm. Oh, most recent would be like a few weeks ago. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. As, as we're looking at these dates, like I imagine Ebony's like scrolling through them. Do any of these dates pop out to me as something that would be significant? Yes, but the thing is, there's so many of them, it's either that's a pattern, or it's complete coincidence. There's just so many of these different dates, because it's practically every day, you know? There's mm. some entry on here practically for every day. It, it, you know, it, it's an archive of the running of the lab. Mm. But, but to, I think the answer to your question, the information that you're after, is no, not yet. Okay. You said earlier that the plant is young, but mm -hmm. does grow fast. It grows incredibly fast, yep. Okay. I am looking for, and, I, and I'll say this so, so everybody, you know, hears it. I am particularly looking for when they started growing that plant. You can't really be that specific because all you've got is just a list of dates. Fuck me. All right. Um, what? I'll tell you what. You haven't got anything in tech, have you? If you do... No. But if I... you do intelligence and science... Or wits and awareness. It's not a very difficult role either. We'll get the ball rolling like that. Oh, fuck hell, yeah. So the first thing you do, applying your own scientific knowledge, is you start to look at the scientific method. You go back, way back, all the way to the start. And these archives, they show the insides of labs. The first thing that you can see, without even having to open these entries, just by the gleaming, the date, all of them in this first block, same date, several in the same day, and so on and so on. This carries on for a few years. Mm. That is a history of failures and successes. That is their opening initial thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slip, you can see all this, yes? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. These are failures and successes. We should be looking at these successes. Wouldn't mean an awful lot to me. I can, um... Do you want me to open the files up for you? Mm-hmm. Please. All right. Um, can Good I tech. assist with, uh... Thank you. Yeah, damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm looking for patterns and such. Applying my sciencey mind to these files. Oh, you're gonna get a lot. Wonderful. <laughs> She's like, oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you begin to search through looking at the successes. And the successes all seem to be very much based on pure chance, which was half of their issue. You look at the fails, at the failures, and trying to find out what it is that they're trying to actually do. 
And you discern their frustration and not having some key sample. They're trying to chain cells together to other cells. Mm. But something is preventing this. Until eventually a breakthrough is discovered. A missing sample is hidden in one of the children it creates and will bond the cells to others. Did you say the cells of a child of a child of children? Mm-hmm. Gemma seek <laughs> is what is what Acheron says out loud. Um and proceeds. Said out loud, did you say? Whispered. Yes. To my I... coterie. Yes. In that case. <laughs> as you the word seek leaves your lips, mm. you will hear a beep from the computer. As if responding to the name. Ah, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. It displays a list of information. And you learn the kind child was carrying a protein. The child is dead. And that the Armis Corporation, the Armis Pharma Corporation, was close to cracking what they needed. Without this child, it could take them several decades and years until you find that they later mention that the kind that made the, the kind that carried the plague cell was embraced by a lunatic blank body under the influence of this curse they discovered the doctor had injected the other child with the protein and was then embraced and that that is the one that they must seek it is after those entries there are no more failures. And I that is explain. all you will see in the archives that is of interest to you, by the way. I explain all of this to the Coterie. Gemma died, but her twin did not. They were able to get the protein they needed from the twin, who was then embraced. So they've been seeking Gemma's twin? Hmm. Yes. And they were able to succeed from that point forward on their experiments due to this protein that lied within them. all the information that we're going to get from this. The rest does not matter. I'm willing to bet in the lab there is leftovers, experimentations that still linger. I'll log out of the computer from here and uh, stick to my own terminal then. Right. I'll let you know if we need anything else. Ron is going to make their way to the lab. Before you make your way to the exit, is there anything anyone else wants to talk to you or anyone else about? I am looking, by the way, for more evidence of the plant If it's still around these parts, or if it's just on that nope. section, nope. understood. It has, understood. yeah, a long fade of the way. Okay, understood. Nothing else? Oh, no, I don't think. I don't think so. So Hatfield has still As... that particular kind of quiet that is um, leashed. Fair enough. I'm you... paying around yep, the yep. paying 
paying around. Wow, I'm fucking delirious. I'm paying attention to our surroundings. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're focused. We're, we're well, looking around. Well, it's a around. bloody good thing you are. Because you will be one of the first to notice that as Hatfield... As Hatfield. As Acheron is walking <laughs> towards the door, it suddenly bursts open, flying pieces of wood splinters through the air, and you just hear... As teams of black armoured, black weaponed mercenaries, SI soldiers, I don't know why I said mercenaries, I'm fucking tired, it's 12 past 4 in the morning, burst into the room, all armed to the core, and point their weapons at you. <laughs> Akron immediately goes into horrid form. I'm Browse already check. picking one of them. Um, and... uh, do we still have our stuff from before? Yeah. Okay, that. Uh, thank God. Yeah, I'm. I'm picking whoever is the closest dude, and I'm gonna give him a command to turn around and shoot his buddy in the face. Are you sure you want to do that? What? Because yeah, all right, two down. What are you gonna do about the other forty-eight? Forty-eight. Mm -hmm. The That's only thing. Out. The only thing Acheron says is maybe not um, literally forty-eight, but a lot. Yeah, well, forty-eight is wild. Yes, I tell you to run, and I <laughs> into dragon. Oh, okay. that's okay. Forty-eight might be a little bit too much. There might, you know, uh, maybe. Uh... Acheron. Hmm. You will the Vitae around your body, as you have done countless, countless times in your own life before. But this time, something is different. Something feels off. Mm. There is a brief moment of confusion, perhaps blinding light. As the entire team of soldiers is blown away and dissolves before you all. And Acheron, you're no longer there. Perhaps it would be best for you to describe how you disappeared. I think you all had heard Akron say to run. The eyes on their body kind of opening up, briefly looking at you all, kind of pausing, and you can like almost feel it, pausing on your face as if they're memorizing your face. And you see the bones and whatnot begin to shift, and you, you've seen Akron do horde form before. So you start to see some of that happen. Um... question before I continue. Do I fully transform? Entirely up to you. You've okay. absolutely got enough time. This is entirely up to you. Okay. You see Akron become something that, like, legend calls a dragon. But you think that perhaps there is a reason why the Samizi symbol is what it is. Why they are referred to as the dragon. But there's something just a little different there, and you think perhaps in its design, it is reminiscent more of a serpent than that of a dragon. Um, it has the wings. And those of you that have been in the Bahari safe haven, you remember the things that Akron told you about the serpent and that it was one of the forms Lilith took. Um, and that when Lilith took pity on Eve for her subservience. She gave her knowledge so that she can then take her own power. Um, and I think all that kind of presses in on those who, who are in the know. Uh, and you see this snake and it begins to move rapidly, almost as if it's coiling throughout all of these bodies. And it makes this sort of figure eight, sort of like an Ouroboros imagery and then the light happens and it 
burns into the floor. So now there is this just large, still cindering imagery of a snake with its wings. Um, and Akron disappears, taking as many of the SI with her as she can. It'll be like a, a wavelength that emits out from where you once stood, that just travels out. And as it touches each of the second Inquisition officers, it just blows them into pieces. They fall to the ground, and even those pieces of viscera just seem to melt away. As you all turn to look where Acheron was once standing, you hear... This one belongs to me now. You do my bidding, or they will come for you and burn your way in me like cowards. Now go, tear them apart, destroy them. That's where we'll leave it this week. Bruh. I'm I'm committing crimes. <laughs> oh, either way, my lips are curled. Hat feel fangs fully. Uh, Alright, fuck it. Roll in here with me now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming and watching. Thank you all for coming and playing. Uh, oh shit, I wrote down the thing. Oh shit, where did I put the thing? I'll put the thing. This week, uh, we go in order of least likely to believe all the things I've done wrong in my life without even trying. I've lived on the edge of a knife, starting with Acheron. Who are you? What do you do? Do you do things? Let's find out. Hi, everyone. Uh, yes, I do things. I do this thing. I do TTRPGs here on Table of Horrors. On Fridays, I am Acheron, or I was. On Mondays, I am Morningstar. Uh, there are other things that I'm doing also on this channel that you will see eventually, and I hope that you enjoy. Um, I am also a part of Lanyap Gaming, where we do very similar things. More TTRPGs, more Vampire the Masquerade, and other such fun games. You can find uh, past work that we've done on YouTube. Uh, if you're looking it up, put uh, Lanyap Blood and Jazz, and it will direct you to the channel. Um other than that, I do spicy content. If you're into spicy content, feel free to look in my links for those things. All that I ask is that you be respectful or else. Roland! Who are you? What do you do? Do you do things? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Dead Western. I really don't do a lot aside from playing Roland here on Fridays. Um... You know, like to take it easy, but if you are, you know, curious, you want to talk or chat, whatever, you can find me on the Discord. Hi, who are you? What do you do? Do you do things? Let's find out. I am Naskevian. I play as Barry on uh, Fridays on Table of Horrors. I play as Jason on um, Mondays on Table of Horrors. I have friends who have written books, such as our very own The Breakathon. Who has written Ward Breaker and Windswept? Check them out. And uh, I have a friend who wrote um, Bloodlust of the Bloodletting series. It's a uh, book about vampires. And I have a friend who wrote uh, Obelisk the Long Dream of the uh, Violet Stars. <laughs> and it is by Solus. Flip, who are you? What do you do? Do you do things? Let's find out. Hello. I do do things. I'm Slip, and I've been playing Castlevania on my other channel. Symphony of the Night, my favorite one. Um, other than that, I'm here Monday. I'm here Friday. Table of Horrors. For the Vampire Times and the uh, Cyberpunk Times. It's a different thing. <laughs> Adala. Who are you? What do you do? Do you do things? Let's find out. Hello. Aside from being absolutely a force of chaos and dirty punning today, I guess. Um, <laughs> I, <Thank you. laughs> I am Phoenicia Starlight here on Twitch and on other, uh, I think all the other platforms as well. Pretty sure. I don't care right now. It doesn't matter. 
Mm -hmm. social media so really you're not missing much anyway (laughs) to be (laughs) honest Uh, Mm -hmm. but aside from that uh, I've been struggling with uh, problems in my apartment so I haven't been streaming because I had one outlet working this week in my apartment Uh, but things seem to be okay so you know I'll be streaming I do variety I do whatever the fuck my ADHD brain um problem child uh, allows me to do um so yeah just come for the chaos you know it is what it is mm-hmm. yep thank you for coming to my TED talk and uh, I'll spit on that plant next time I will on god on god the things they say they want to do to the stuff I put in there I, I just have to take this one on the chin Oh my god. Ebony, who are you? What do you do? Do you do things? Let's find out. Dishonor. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on the <laughs> plant. Dishonor on your fucking tie. Dishonor on Acheron. Fuck y'all. Dishonor on me? Dishonor on you too. I don't fucking care. Man, I'm crying. Where, where does this hate stem from? This hate <laughs> stems, stems from a deep introspection that I don't want to face yet. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm uh, I'm Soft and Amicon. Here on Fridays, I play Ebony of Clan Ventru. On Mondays, I run Run the Flood, our Shadowrun 5e game. And I also have two other games in the works. They are being recorded. We're figuring that shit out. It's Blood Price, a Vampire the Masquerade Sabat game, and Return to Silence, a Monster Hearts 2a game. Ah, uh, I am Shiv's Hedgehog husband and second in command here on Table of Horrors, and I swear to God I'm going to strangle him one day, with that tie specifically, (laughs) and he will be paying me for it. Uh, Told you someone was going to die. I have my own- shut up. I have my own channel, where I stream pretty much primarily artwork now. I've completely switched to basically just being an art streamer, unless I have been summoned to play games with my friends. That is the only time I do something else. Mostly because I'm actually doing work again, and things like that. On the note of me- artwork uh i have commissions open currently i am strictly doing either overlays or simple graphic design for you guys or monsters and on the note of monsters i have a patreon where i'm making a coloring book called the periodic table of monsters if you would like to support me on that it would be very much appreciated i think i got everything mm-hmm and yep. cool. And again, dishonor on all y'all. All right. Are you I'm, mad because you love me? I've already got dishonor and dishonor too. Are you mad because you love me? I love Is you more why? than life itself, and I'm so mad. <laughs> Hatfield, who are you? What do you do? Do you do things? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Daybreakathon, author, artist, and general menace. Um, you can find me streaming over on my own channel, Daybreakathon, where I play whatever I want, whenever I can. Today, I was losing my mind in Stardew Valley. Not a game where you expect to lose your mind, but I was managing. Um, when <laughs> I'm not streaming on my own channel, you can find me here and now, playing Hatfield during Oxford's Ashes, or Mojave during our, um, Shadow One game. Uh, when I'm not doing that... I wrote those fantasy novels. Noscavian was hi- kindly holding up for y'all. Um, worked very hard on them. <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore! I'm coherent, I swear! Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> pardon my outburst. <laughs> I wrote those fantasy novels. I worked very hard on them. I recommend you check them out. Third one is coming. I am working on it. It's coming along. Um, and I did the character art for the characters who have art, and my commissions are open if you'd like me to do some art for you as well. I believe that is everything for now, except, of course, my dog says hi. Hi, puppers. Hi, (laughs) pup. I think that's everything. Uh, This is not going to be the last time necessarily you're going to see Acheron. This is going to be the last time you see Acheron for a little while, Mm. but not the last time you ever see them. Don't wink at me like that. I should have killed you when I had the chance! No, stop fighting! <laughs> Check out the links down below in chat for links to our Discord, YouTube for previous episodes. Uh, we have audio only versions as well up on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and I think Apple Podcasts as well. Uh, mm-hmm. So tune for that. Uh, if it, you know, if you listen to it on Apple Podcasts, it counts as one of your five a day. 
Just saying. And uh, of course, a big shout out, of course, to our most important supportive member, Noscavian's chair. <laughs> Always there for you. Doesn't mind it when you sit on his face. <laughs> we will go raiding over on Lost Tribes Gaming, who are playing Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, but we can't go legally, morally, objectively until Akron sets the line. See you when I see you. Don't miss me too much. 